Greetings, everyone. I want to say welcome, 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 welcome to the remix. I am your host, of course, Miss Blue the Oracle, and you are live in the remix. I want to say peace and greetings to everyone out there listening, no matter where in the world you're listening from. Peace and greetings to you all. (laughs) <laughs> and welcome, 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 welcome to Planet Remix. I am so glad you guys are joining us here live inside the cipher tonight. I do want to let you know that the blue room is open and you are certainly more than welcome to come on over and join us. I want to say welcome to Kali Mar who has opened up the way in the blue room. A uh, big thank you to Erica for sound check. And um, I definitely want to give out the call-in number, 515-605-9794 is the number to call. And uh, that's going to get you locked into the remix. Yeah. Peace and greetings, everyone. Wow. I trust that you all are doing well. (laughs) You're all doing well. I want to give the cosmic direction so you can find your way on over to the Blue Room. Jess, come on over to YouTube. And once you get to YouTube, all you got to do is type in blue as in the color and then Raz, R-A-S and Barry, B-E-R-R-Y, and you can find your way on in. Hmm. Wow. Tonight, Brother Bilal is going to be joining us here in just a short moment as we talk about Khufu, the Black Moon, Black Magic, and the Red Records. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, some really, really good stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't forget, you guys, you can download, download, download tonight share as well as all of planet remix because it is available for you however do you want it however do you need it it is available for you Uh uh-huh so i um definitely absolutely want to welcome everyone and shout out to everyone in the blue room i see teddy r inside the uh Blue Room, we have Joyce Connors just stepped up in the building. Reaching Nirvana is in the house tonight. Latoya is in the house tonight. So glad to have you there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kevin Bell is in the house tonight. Greetings, Kevin Bell. We have Terrence in the house tonight. Greetings, Terrence. Uh, and Diamond Love is in the house. I absolutely love you guys' name. Parse Parcel Parcel or Parcel is in the house tonight. So Beck Ra Haru is in the house tonight. That's no thing is in the building. Divine family. Of course, of Asar Aset Haru is in the house tonight. Priestess Donna Lee and family is in the house tonight. And boy oh boy, I hear some special shots out is deserving of a couple of brothers in the house right now and that's going to be to teddy and also to terrence because they're going to be in that men's workshop of course you know brother Bilal has that coming up and uh my oh my uh just want to send so much love out to all the brothers there still is some room you know you go you guys are gonna have to get in close gonna have to huddle up but there's still some room and well wait i think all the seats are gone I think. I don't know. Brother Bilal will have to speak on it. I'm just checking over my notes with him. I think all the seats are gone for the men's workshop. So that would mean the men's workshop is about or has sold out as well. But anywho, I want to welcome you all in uh, and joining us. Priestess Melanie is in the building. Greetings as well as accomplish in freedom in the house tonight. I hope I said that right. (laughs) I don't want to screw up the names here, but I'm so glad you guys are joining us. And we have this beautiful energy of the moon just gazing, you know, just sort of reflecting 
in so many different ways. So shouts out to all the family. And we have that powerful energy, let us not forget, of the 13. That number connected to many things, but also the divine feminine energy. You know, this is, this is some good invitation work uh, to really sort of step forward, you know. Just some, yeah. And we're going to be talking about them red records tonight. I don't know. For over a year or so now, red has just been one of my favorite colors. I've always liked red for some reason. <laughs> wow. So, listen. Listen. I'm going to be talking about the red records tonight. I know you guys remember that show so long ago. Sisters of Transformation, never to be forgotten when we dived into the Red Records. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Red Records tonight as well. So we got quite a few things to cover. And we're going to keep covering. I want to remind you of Friday's show. And I want you all to just know, Friday's show, man, still reading. Can I just say this? Still reading you guys' feedback <laughs> of your emails from Friday's show where we did the three titles, Baron Sanbi, The Black Face Joker, and Blackjack. Remember, on Friday, it was the red nose. Well, tonight... We're going to be talking about the red records. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better get you some. Well, listen. I don't know about you guys. I'm just happy we are moving into brown sugar time. I love all the seasons, and brown sugar time is one of my favorite. I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sheila is in the building tonight. Greetings, oh, Sheila. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tamara is in the house tonight. Tamara RN. Welcome on in. Yeah, shouts out to Chastity, Sister Munya, Baby Nine Nine Tiwi, the whole family. Sending them so much love. Brother Jerome, Brother Q, all those amazing brothers and sisters that support us every single week. Dr. Banks, sending him so much love out there in the cosmos for all the work that he's doing as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know what we have to do. We got to talk football tonight. It was a lot of losses, but I do want to give a big ups to Baltimore because they got themselves a win. So shots out to them Ravens. They got to win. Mm-hmm. They got to win. Yeah, my Eagles, my Eagles, you know, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> I didn't watch the game, by the way, uh, at all, because I was having some conversation inside the records, talking to some of your ancestors, your spirit guides and such, and other entities from out in the galaxy. It's a busy cosmic week that is going on. It's very busy out here in these cosmic streets and uh, seeing what's going on. So it's a lot going on, but you know what I went in search of? I absolutely went in search of my bell. That was number one because I felt like my spirit guides was playing a trick on me and it turns out they were. But once I figured out what the trick was, I came back in to the temple, my office, my magical space, and laying on my desk was, you guessed it, the bell. Oh my goodness. It's like understanding the difference between California and Florida. <laughs> it's too easy. It's absolutely too easy. Yeah. So, I got my bell back, figured out, figured out the riddle right in my face, looking at me, 
talking to me, speaking with me. I got it. <laughs> so that being said, let's go ahead and give a big shout out for Self Invested. That's right. We got to ring the bell for Self Invested. And boy, did we have an amazing time in Self Invested last night. You know, we were doing that hoodoo, voodoo, hoodoo magic and self-invested and um, just loving it, loving the conversation, loving their work, their understanding. They are just an amazing group of individuals. Yeah. So peace and greetings, everybody. Welcome to Planet Remix. I'm your host, Miss Blue, the Oracle. If this is your very first time here, please let me be the first to say welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, we're going to get ready to play the PSA. Brother Bilal will be coming on shortly. We have a lot of things to cover tonight. I want to encourage you all to make sure you have something to write with, take notes, ask questions, all that good, good, juicy stuff. Also want to encourage you to get on the phone lines because if we have some time later this evening, maybe the second half, we will open up the phone lines and we want to talk to you. Yeah, we want to talk to you. So, man, I'm so glad I got, I figured out that riddle, got that bell. So, shouts out to the ancestors as well. Let me say that always. And kisses and hugs to the babies out there. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's it for right now. Let's go ahead and uh, do what we know we must do here on Planet Remix. Hi, it's me, Miss Blue, the Oracle. And of course, you know that it is time for Planet Remix. And we are about to get fully plugged into the cipher. And so I want us to be responsible while knowing our magic and growing up on planet Earth. So if you have any minors around or anyone who may be a little sensitive, to a little bit of language and certain content. This will be the great time for you to go grab some headsets and get plugged in like the rest of us. So, put the babies to sleep. Let the dogs out. Let the cats run free. <laughs> As we get ready to dive into the cipher, we cover so much content and information here. Tools and things that you can begin to use but we do it with a lot of adult content. So let's be responsible while knowing our magic on Planet Remix. Simply, there's no other way. <laughs> so, enjoy the cipher. Enjoy the share. And keep knowing your magic responsible while growing up on Planet Remix. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we're plugged in. We're plugged into the cipher. Fully plugged in. Oh yeah. yes. That's right. That's right. We are plugged in fully, 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 absolutely, positively, fully plugged in. Yeah. I'm going to do something um, that I haven't done in a minute, and that is I want to give some international uh, shots out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that being said, we're going to give some international shots out from some of our international listeners out there, um, and I'm going to pull that up. Let's see if I can, if I can get to this. Let me see if I could get to this. Let's see how we can get to our international listeners. 
It's been such a minute. Wow. Um, here's something um, while I'm getting that ready. Because mm -hmm. obviously it's it's not as easy to get to as I thought. I thought I had my um, notes here. But I, I really want to get um, some live, live accountability for, for, for who's here. So, um, yeah, I may have to do this a little later in the share today. Uh, uh. Uh, I apologize. Tonight, as I said, we are going to be bringing on Brother Bilal. We're going to be talking about Khufu, Black Moon, Black Magic, and the Red Records live on Planet Remix. So let's listen to some Baby Blue because mm -hmm. we got to do that. La, 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 the remix. Hey, this is Baby Blue, and remember, if nothing else moves you, life will. So true. If nothing else moves you, life will. Say it with me. If nothing else moves you, life will. If nothing else moves you, life will. So now, um, yeah, we're going to do those international shots out. I haven't done it in such a long time, but you guys know we love all of our international family as well. So, but first we're going to, um, hmm, well, wait a minute. Let, let, let me, uh, kind of listen here, you know, to spirit a little bit. <laughs> let me slow down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the red records. The red records are so significant. Because the records themselves shows a very, very accurate account of what happened, what took place, and really the blood that was shed along the way. It is for those who paved the way, those who took the road less traveled and those who were willing to fight the fight not just for themselves but for everyone tonight we're going to be talking about Khufu And it's so significant. Some people say Kafu or Kafu, however you choose to say it, he will respond. Yeah. He is the voodoo god. Mm. And we know him so well at the crossroads. He stands at the crossroads. The same as a leg bar. It is that intersection. So whether you're looking at this from hoodoo or you're looking at from the Yorubas and you have a legba. He stands at the crossroads and this is so significant because see, sometimes in our lives we get to the crossroads and the crossroads are not easy to cross. That intersection sometimes is not open. That crossroads, the bearing of the cross is the gateway. The gateway to the new world, to the new existence. Yeah. Hmm. a lot to talk about. It's a lot to take in. 
It's a lot to think about. But it comes from the Red Records. It comes from the heart and soul of the people. The color, the color for Kafu is red, just like the red records. That's his favorite color. Mm -hmm. He is the one that you see at the crossroads. And this is so important. He's so very important in the voodoo pantheon. And I know many of you who study that know that, but not much is ever said about him. Like, I, you know, you don't really hear too much about Kafu. Everyone says he is Baron, Baron Sanbi, Bridget. They talk about Urzuli. Kafu, it's not one that you hear much about. But he's very, 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 very significant. He's often seen as the loner. And that could be why. That could be why. But I will say that. Those in Catholicism know him very well. Oh, yeah. They know him very, very, very well. Mm-hmm. They understand him. And they know him very well. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, he's the loner. Mm-hmm. He's the loner. Heavily connected to black magic. Mm-hmm. 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 So, yeah. We're going to find out more. We'll find out more when Brother Bilal comes on and drops them gems on us. Mm hmm. So before we do international shots out, I want you to take all of that that we just talked about. And now we're going to play our song for tonight. Because this, this speaks to everything. It speaks to it all absolutely everything. So welcome in, welcome to Planet Remix, everyone here. Yeah. So give a listen, come in close, as close as you possibly can, and listen. Listen to this.
I can see the darkness in me and it's quite amazing. Life and death is no mystery and I want to taste it. Step inside of my mind and you'll find curiosity, animosity, high velocity, high hypothesis, meditation. Reminisce on my wonder years and I wonder if sentiments of my words ain't been so sincere. The sentiment to my nerves that I just persevered, the big thought of falling off disappeared to my faith, they say that hell is real. Analyze my demise, I say I'm super anxious. Recognize I deprive this fear and then embrace it. Vandalizing these walls only if they can talk. Conversations on contemplate to my dark thoughts. Looking down on my soul now. Tell me I'm in control now. Tell me I can live long and I can live wrong and I can live right and I can sing song and I can unite with you that I love, you that I like. Look at my life and tell me I fight. It's that final destination. It's that fonts of information. It's that fonts of inspiration. It's that crack the installation. It's that quantum jump in that fist pump and that bomb detonation. Please don't bomb my nation. And bomb me if you're waiting. I got my control when I'm here. You gon' hate me when I'm gone. Ain't no love up no fear. I got hope inside of my bones. It's that life beyond your own life. This ain't this goal for mankind. This that out of body. The experience, no coincidence, been died, you can trust it. Black Moon, Black Magic, The Red Records. Welcome on in, especially welcome to all of our international listeners who are listening from all over the world. We have Greece that is checking in live tonight. We want to say welcome to Greece out there. South Korea is in the building tonight. Welcome, South Korea. We have Bermuda and Singapore in the house tonight. Welcome, welcome on in. Denmark is in the building tonight. Um, So big ups to Denmark. Got a lot of things going on technology-wise in Denmark. I want to give a big shout out to Belgium. Belgium. 
Belgium is in the house tonight. Welcome aboard, Belgium. Uh, glad to have you in the building. Thailand is in the house tonight. Greetings to Thailand. So glad that you are listening in. And of course, absolutely Spain. We are loving you in the house tonight, Spain. Uh, so big ups to Spain. China is in the building tonight. Oh, wow. Greetings, China. Glad to have you listening in. Iran is in the house tonight, joined by Belize uh, in the house tonight. We have Australia in the building tonight. Greetings to Australia. So glad to have the family from Australia listening in from the land down under. We also have Argentina in the house tonight. So greetings to Argentina in the house tonight. Trinidad and Tobago, sending them love and also welcoming them in tonight. Italy is in the house tonight. Welcome, Italy. We also have Cambodia checking in. Bangladesh is in the house tonight. Mexico is on board as well as Germany. So glad to welcome Germany in the building tonight. Brazil is in the building tonight. Saudi Arabia, big house, listening in tonight. Indonesia is in the house tonight. Large family from Indonesia listening in. The Bahamas is checking in. We're sending them love and still sending love out to the Bahamas, as well as Barbados in the house tonight. Turkey is in the building tonight. Greetings, Turkey. Always good to have you in the house tonight. France is here listening in. The Philippines is in the house tonight. We have Pakistan in the house tonight. Big family from Pakistan listening audience. Welcome on in. We have United Arab Emirates. Mm, one of my favorites. Listening in tonight, Kenya in the building tonight. Uh, greetings to Kenya. Jamaica is in the house tonight. And Oh, wow. Big ups to our family in Jamaica in the building. South Africa, all of South Africa listening in tonight. Greetings. The Netherlands is here. Welcome to the Netherlands. We have family. Egypt is in the house tonight. Welcome, 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 Egypt. Vietnam is listening in. Of course, our family in Canada. Shots out to all of you, Donna Lee, um, um, and family in the house tonight, as well as McQuinton and everyone else listening in. Nigeria is in the house tonight. Welcome, Nigeria. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a large listening audience from Nigeria. Greetings, Nigeria in the house tonight. And then we have India in the house tonight. And this has always been a very large family. So welcome, India. We are so glad that you are standing up and in the house tonight. The United Kingdom is in the house tonight. Big ups to the UK, Val uh, and Natasha, the whole family and all of our family that's in the UK. Big ups to the UK. And Afghanistan is in the house tonight. Wow. You know, it's so crazy because I'm actually wearing a kunzite crystal ring. And this kunzite that I'm wearing, this crystal, was actually sourced in Afghanistan. It is a beautiful sort of kind of like a lilac, pinkish, purple color. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love my kunzite from Afghanistan. And that is one of our largest listening audiences here tonight. Um, second to those of you listening in Family Place, Ethiopia in the building tonight. So big ups to our huge family in uh, Ethiopia listening in tonight. And of course, to all of you listening across the United States of America to include Alaska and Hawaii. Wow. So, man. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, big ups to McQuinton. He's going to be in that brother's workshop as well. And to all the brothers out there, all of our international families, I love you guys. I thank you. So whether you're hearing this live, whether you're listening live, or whether you're um, listening to the downloads, know that we love you and you are a part of Planet Remix as well too. So now, hmm. We are into the share. Peace and greetings, Brother Bilal. Good evening, Miss Blue. Sound <laughs> like it's packed. It's a packed house tonight. What's happening, everybody? Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, 
Everybody is good. This sure. beautiful. All those people. Huh? I know. I'm right? glad we actually have a show because I was getting ready to say it's just a title. <laughs> we wasn't really going to do a show, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> We just finished Friday night. I mean, God damn. <laughs> yes, oh, my indeed. goodness. Yeah. Mm. What's good? Yeah. What's good? Wow. Everyone is everybody? here. Everyone is here. Super know. excited. I know. Yeah. So much fun. It's fun Friday night. I enjoy Friday night. It's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And shouts out to Self Invested. Yes, indeed. And all the fam in the house, everybody. Mm-hmm. What's good? What's good? Yeah, everything is good. Everyone is nice and hype and in the house tonight, you know, mm -hmm. definitely getting themselves. The brothers all excited about the workshop coming up. And quite frankly, oh, yeah. so are yes, we indeed. sisters. We're excited, too. Oh, come on, come on. Now. Yeah, yeah. And look, I already planning the next one because the next one, uh, you know, my man, man, just built the house over there in Dominican Republic. Oh, so yeah. So he, he just, you know, he said we could do the next retreat over there for all the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, got, I'm like, sure y'all would love that. All, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going down. <laughs> so we're going to plan that one, you know. We started already. You know what I'm saying? So, I love look, it. Somebody emailing me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but look, oh but look, gosh not, but look so huh. so you know oh gosh so uh but but it's all good it's all good and i'm very respectable because i have daughters you know what i'm saying so, mm. yeah so what would jesus do but tonight look the Joker was Friday night, right? Right, right. <laughs> the Joker was Friday night. Well, that that three would turn to full title. The Joker for Baron Sandy. The Blackface Joker, Black Jack Twenty One. Then we turned it into Black Friday because we learned about the bargain. Everybody wanted a bargain, but they realized a bargain. Mm -hmm. And uh, tonight I'm just excited because uh, tonight we need to talk about the proof of the Joker's purchase. Hmm. Listen, listen to that. The proof of the Joker's purchase. Hmm. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know how you get you know how you go to the store and get the proof of purchase? Mm -hmm. What what's that what that mean, Miss Blue, when you got the proof of you purchase you proof that you got proof that you purchased this item. Mm -hmm. Just like like a friend of mine took some stuff back to Walmart, but he already knew it was hot. He didn't have a proof of purchase. <laughs> so he had to go in the back room and try to work his way out of that shit. So <laughs> he didn't have a proof of purchase. But I'm saying the right. Joker Right. Look. There's a proof to the Joker's purchase. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right? Right. No, it's not making sense right now, but look. Look. How about the Joker does not come along? Mm, mm-hmm. How about the Joker is not even an entity of his or herself? Mm-hmm. Because when we talk about the purchase, we must talk about the purchaser. Who's Who purchased the Joker? Right. The Joker goes out front to break the ice. Mm, wow. The Joker goes out front to warm up the crowd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also clear up some of the riffraff, just like the Joker or the clown used to do with the Sandman at the Apollo. Remember the Sandman at the oh, Apollo? Oh, yes. That's right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I forgot about yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, right. Is that the Wow. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, see we talk about the joke and we talk about the clown Friday night, but tonight we 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 talk about the little joker, but we gotta talk about the big joker here because look, the joker go hand in hand with the royal court. Mm. Mm -hmm. I really need to take my time and lay this out. The Joker goes hand in hand with the royal court. 
Right. And if you didn't know, the Joker is the evolution of the jack in the deck of playing cards. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Joker is the evolution of the jack in the deck of playing cards. Because you know it comes jack, queen, and king, right? Because that's, that's right. a royal court. Is that's that right? That's right. That's right. So, look. So, then the Joker's right after that. But, look. See this, this that whole deck is really going in reverse if you if you really knew, understood the, the science of it. But look, the Joker is the evolution of the Jack in the deck of cards in Miss Blue. Mm-hmm. In most of the tarot deck, you know they have a king and a queen and princess, but the Jack in the tarot deck is called the Page. Wow. Well, that's what the page is. <laughs> not, not the page in your book. And not the, the, not, the page page, is a rainbow. not the page hairstyle either, even though I think it's connected. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it, it's all connected. But look, the, the page is the ring boy in the wedding. It's a, it's a young boy. The page is the little boy that holds the bride train at the wedding. Mm-hmm. That's the page. Because the page is in the royal court. Because the page is the Jack. You remember, it comes Jack, Queen, and King. Is that right? That's how the royal. That's right. right. That's right. So, 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 but, 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 look. Hold, hold, hold that. Hold, hold that before we go. Because I don't want to go too far on that page. And I'm, I'm getting a little. You're going too far in the book. And now you turn the page in the book. I don't want to go too far. I want to talk about the page right now. But the page <laughs> is going to come back up. Uh, All right. Mm-hmm. So look. Just remember this. The the Jack. In that deck of playing cards, evolved itself into the Joker. Mm-hmm. The Jack is a Joker in training. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Joker is the host of all the ceremonies. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. The Joker like the MC thing. You can think about the show. The Joker is a hype man, but look, the Joker is the host of the ceremonies. Hmm. Remember, I just said that the Joker. The, the 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 proof right. of the Joker's purpose and purchase. Remember after the Joker was purchased already? Right, right. But the Joker is the proof of purchase, right? Right. Listen, so the Joker the Joker <laughs> is the proof that the king and queen is close. Hmm. <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> the Joker Joker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, hold on. Hold on. Remember mm-hmm. I said proof of purchase? Yes. Well, when you find, when you see the Joker, the Joker is the proof that the king and queen are close in proximity. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, the Joker is warming up, warming up the crowd for the big act. Mm-hmm. Because the king and the queen is on the premises. Right. They are in the building. That's and right. And the Joker is warming up the stage. Yes. The Joker is warming up the crowd for the main attraction. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now look, while you have learned many of these stories in separate pieces, the esoteric meaning of this lesson is really in one person. Right, right. In reality, you are the Joker. That's you right. are the king and the, the queen. queen. You're the lower card. You're the cow. You everything. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to separate in your mind into many little pieces, right? Right. And, and and look at this template movie, and and just as this is some, and I I can't just take it for granted like everybody saw this movie, but it was a real popular one, and mm-hmm. a lot of people became conscious after this movie. What they say they became conscious, but just like most people's favorite movie, like The Matrix, right, Miss Blue? Right. That yes. you hear a lot about, especially in the conscious community. <laughs> but look, and I'm only using this example because right. Many people didn't understand that all those people in the movie represented one person. That's right. For instance, you got Neo. You got Neo, which is which was Mr. Anderson, right? Yes. You had Morpheus. Mm-hmm. You had Trinity. Then you had Mr. Smith. Now, it's just like the blood cells, the white and red blood cells, just like they have a battle going on inside of your body right now. Right. 
all of these entities are the entities that live in one person. For instance, the Neo in you is the new mind that's seeking out new adventures. Right, right. That person is in you. Mm-hmm. That person, that that person could be here tonight. This is brand new to them, and they, you know, they trying to build up their spirituality. I don't know how this shit go. So the neo inside of a person is that new mind that's seeking out a new adventure. Yes. Right. But but in that movie, Miss Blue, Neo had an enemy, which was Mister Smith, mm-hmm. because Mister mm-hmm. Smith was trying to hold him to the past in the traditional mindset of just keeping a regular job, a day-to-day routine of life. That's right. See, Mr. Smith was trying to keep that in place. Mm -hmm. That's what Mm -hmm. that represents in you. So that Mr. Smith in you is that voice that tells you, you can't quit that job, man. You can't start your own business. Then you're talking about you can really stop and go out on the road singing. Man, you crazy. That's the Mr. Smith in you. Right. That's trying to hold you to your old way of life. That's to right. try to stop that new you from coming in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just as the Morpheus in you is the you with the potential of enlightenment. Right. You see, because your enlightenment has to be morphed into existence. Mm-hmm. The Morpheus in you represents your potential enlightenment that you would morph into especially as soon as they get off that morphine. Mm. It's crazy to have a lot of people on that morphine, huh? Isn't that crazy? Yes, it is. It really is. But look, in, in, in that movie, Miss Blue, none of this shit happen until they meet the Oracle. Mm, so true. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. but, you, but remember, you have an Oracle on the inside of you. That's right. Sure do. Inside you have an your Oracle ear. on the inside of you. You got and Ms. Blue, when you you are the oracle, and when you doing a person reading, or when you communicating with someone, you can you really talking to the oracle inside of them. You bypassing That's their right. conscious mind, that old oh, traditional yes. shit. That's right. Mm-hmm. So that whole story of the matrix is really on the inside of us. So which appears to be separate people are really in the same person. Different aspects of your mind, different aspects of your situation. We do realize there are a lot of many worlds going on on the inside of us. We do realize that, right? Right. We have come to realize there are many different worlds, but there are many worlds that you're living in yourself. For instance, if your child plays soccer, you are now in a soccer world. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's a, that's a whole other world. If your eight, nine, ten, twelve, if your child plays soccer, you are now in a soccer world. In Miss Blue, mm-hmm. that comes with equipment, balls, practice, yes. meeting parents, that's games, right. gas, tournaments, travel, hotel, food, clothes, makeup, money. Mm-hmm. And you're still going to work, washing clothes, cooking, shopping, and still come on time for self-invested on Saturday. That's a lot of shit to do. That, yes, and that's just is. one example of one thing going on in your life. That's just one child that's still mm-hmm. in school, that's still doing other things. Mm-hmm. So this is how you know. If you're paying attention to someone else and if you don't, you really not, you you really are thrown off. Because yes. just with this one example, this make you focus on yourself. That's right. That's right. You are not in, you are not in a matrix. Mm-mm. You are in your own matrix. Right. You have created your own matrix. Hmm. And so when we talk about the Joker, the Joker only could show up when the king and queen is present because the royal court comes together. Hmm. So the Joker, Miss Blue, is playing the same role as the moon. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The moon is an indicator. That's right. <laughs> mm. The moon is an indicator of what? 
the moon is an indicator that the sun is still shining. That's right. No <laughs> matter what. Because <laughs> when the nighttime comes, the moon glow is the reflection of light to let you know the, the sun, sun is still shining. That's right. And the joke of the moon is you think the moon has its own light. That hmm. joke is on you because the moon is borrowing light. That's right. The moon and the sun, the sun, moon, and stars is a package just like the Jack Queen and the King in the deck. It's a package When you deal. meet the Joker, when you see the Joker, it's letting you know that the King and Queen are near. The moon is the indicator. It is the reflection. It is letting you know you can rest assured that the sun is still shining. That's the right. moon is borrowing light. Mm -hmm. As the Joker is borrowing jokes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. The moon is borrowing light, and the, and the moon is just as like the Joker as the moon borrowing light from the sun. The Joker is borrowing jokes from yes. the kings and queens of comedy. The yeah. jokes of the Joker is not that of his own. None. None. Wasn't Richard Pride the king of comedy? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. But who was writing the jokes? <laughs> who was writing the jokes? Hmm. Paul Moon. The moon. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of the moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, Am I lying? Oh, no. Am I lying? No, no. That, that part. Yeah. <laughs> that part because the moon is the indicator see the joker is borrowing jokes mm -hmm. the joker's joke is not even the jokes of his own and as much as Richard Pryor is a king those jokes were coming from a different source male and female men and women writing jokes he was there to deliver because the joker plays a very important role. Always. So the moon is the proof of the purchase of the light of the sun. The moon is the proof of the sun. Hmm. That's why your court says they need, you need your court system set up on Hapus Caucus bring us the proof. Bring us the proof that the sun is still shining. Bring us the proof. Wow. So just like in the deck of cards, the, the sun is the ace. The sun is the ace in the hole mm -hmm. because all is one. Is that right? That's and right. And what's the ace in the in the, in the playing deck of cards? Is the ace the one, the ace of spades? Is that the ace in the hole? That's right. Because the ace is all one. That's the one. The one. The sun represents that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you, know, you know what may be good to... to to give the different uh, different takes on the numbers in the card in the deck, huh. I think that'll be very healthy. We're yeah. starting with that ace, mm -hmm. and and look, and and based on this scale, you may see where you at in even the plain deck of cards. Mm -hmm. I used to, I used to, I don't do no more. But I used to read that deck of cards just like tarot cards. It's the same yeah. exact deck. I use them as an oracle, so yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are, they 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 are. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But when you are at one, you are at the source of light. You are in the sun because the sun is the eighth. That's right. But but let's go to the two in the deck because we do have the deuce as well. We do have the two. But look, when you are stressed about bills and pleasing other people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's no longer focused on the one. That's focused on two. So mm -hmm. that's the two in the deck. That's the two. And, and that would be the two of clubs. Mm -hmm. That would be earth. Tarot and this, yes, a pentacles. Mm -hmm. That's material you are running after. The two in the decks represents material. Right. That's when you're stressing over things. You need to get things to prove your worth and value, and you into people pleasing. That's mm -hmm. the two in the deck. If you really into that, if you're honest with yourself, and that's where you are, you're the two in the deck. Mm -hmm. But deuces are wild. Sometimes he plays the role as the joke. Right. Yeah. 
Now, the three in the deck, the three is of the three of hearts, the hearts of, of the emotions, the cult. The cups, right? Mm-hmm. So the love triangle cover the three. That one, two, three, love triangle, three in the right, deck. Right, right. So you call it the love triangle, you call it the three of deck, which is the three of hearts, the mm-hmm. emotions mm-hmm. with the cups. Mm-hmm. This is where you are in the deck of cards. As we know, the four is all about foundation. Mm-hmm. So if you right now are looking to build a foundation, building uh, your legacy of uh, putting some stability in your life, you are in the four in the deck, and that's the four of diamonds. Hmm. The diamonds in the tarot is the the air card, and that represents the king. This is an air mind. This is a, a you know like the heir to the throne, but it represents putting the foundation together. If you're working on your foundation, you are the four in the deck of cards. Now, the number five, if if you're connected to the five in the deck, the five is the fight for freedom. Mm-hmm. So uh, it reminds me of the, uh, the sister uh, Friday night, was, you know, talking about being a revolutionary. Oh, revolutionist. yeah, yeah. But in your mind, if you feel you need to fight for freedom and you don't have it and need to be liberated, you are in, you are the five in the deck, the five mm-hmm. of spades. Mm-hmm. Because the spade is the fire. The spade is the truth. That's the five in the deck. Mm-hmm. Now, when you get to the level, when you get to number six in this deck, because we're moving on, we're moving all the way down the scale here. So when we get to the six in the deck, uh, if everything with you is all about family, matters of family, even pleasing family, even uh even uh, honoring family, uh, even running away from family. This six, if you in a six in this deck, it represents every element, which is earth, air, water, and fire. Because with families, a lot of emotion, a lot of fire fighting, uh, a lot of air, a lot of earth, a lot of sharing. So that that cover every element. If you into the six, the six of a uh, the six in the deck, and that represents family itself. And right that's number six. Now, when we when we come to the seven of the deck, the seven, if you are really on that spiritual journey right now and the spirituality is pulling at you and everything is about the spirit, you know, just about the trust and, and building and learning more, having compassion for people, that's the seven of cups. You and the seven inside of this deck of cards. And these are how the cards are read, because even if you take these notes, you could read the, the regular playing cards and make it that oracle deck for yourself. But that would be the seven. Now, when we go to the eight in the deck, this is when a person is hungry for power at any cost, only trying to uh, pursue ambitions and, you know, different uh, materialistic adventures, boss man, need the power, to prove your value again, because this is at a, a, a double four, which is eight. And that's the eight of clubs, all earth. Moving to the nine. When you feel it's all about you, and this could be a position you have been in so long, you no longer recognize that you are selfish. It's never about the collective. It's just you, all about you. If it don't benefit you, you don't do most things. If this is your attitude, if this is where you are, you are in the nine in the deck of cards or in the deck uh, in the deck of uh, the suit of diamonds. Yeah, because that diamonds is an air sign, Miss Blue. I mean, it's an air quality. So the nine of diamonds represent when it's all about you. You are on cloud nine. Your nose is up in the air, uh, in the air again. Uh, selfish is also the number of vanity. That number nine. All right. Now, this next one, this next one, uh, brings us to the ten minutes blue because we're looking to graduate to the to the royal court. But remember, all of this is happening inside of one person. 
And when we get to that stage in life where we take responsibility along with taking the credit, we are then at the tent. When we take the responsibility along with taking the credit, and you can finally do this shit with integrity. You are at the 10. You are willing to do it the right way. And when you get to this mindset, you are able to cross over into a different energy. The right way. Ms. Blue, this represents the alphabet, the capital L. Now, this sounds easy, but it takes a lot of courage to do the right thing. But this represents the capital L. In 10, you win. So, Ms. Blue, so right here at this 10, you get the invitation to go into the royal court, right? Because you're going into this royal court to meet the page, which is the jack. So that 10 is the crossover. You know how we always say the 10 is the reset? Yes. That 10 is the reset because you're getting ready to cross over in the ten and deck, Miss Blue, you going over to see the jack, which is the page. Mm. But check out this page, Miss Blue. Mm-hmm. Remember, the page is the little boy, right? Yes. But the page is prepping to be a future knight. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This is where the whole knight come from. The knights of the round table. The knight was once a page. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you have you have the jack, the queen, and then the king, right? Mm-hmm. So think about think about think about this energy, right? The jack is twenty one. Right, right. You see, Rim was a little boy at the wedding, right? But the jack, black jack, is twenty one. You of age now. You are legal. Mm-hmm. See, the jack in you is the is the is the the you that has that energy, that has the vigor, that's Amped up all the time, right? That's that jack in you. Mm-hmm. The queen in you is the home of the emotions and the intuition. That's that queen energy. And that's the feminine energy in you. And the king being the home of the intellect. This male and female. Right. Because see, this jack, this jack, this page is here to... Carry the train of the bride because there's a marriage taking place in your brain, in your mind, of the intellect and the intuition. Hmm. And the jack have the guts and the fortitude to carry through. Hmm. That's the jack in the deck. And, and let me ask you a question right here. Nobody ever wonder why they keep using his name Jack in all these different movies and all these different analogies. You got Jack and the Beanstalk. I know that Keanu Reeves, who did The Matrix, he played Jack Reacher. Mm-hmm. Now, how, what, what is that Jack? Oh, uh, Jack Wick. That Jack. Mm-hmm. This Halloween time, we got Jack O'Lantern. That's right. Grew up with Jack in the Box. Jack Rabbit, you have, you have a, why, what is going on with this this idea of Jack? Why is the Jack mm. used so much? Hmm. What's behind this Jack? <laughs> and anytime you see it, it used over and over like that, it's just like the Joker movie. It's something in it. There's a little more something in it than mm. we're, we're thinking about. So when we talk about cow food, it's at the crossroad because we bring you to the crossroad to see something different. We're in a full moon, black moon, but it's all about black magic. Mm-hmm. And another word for magic is majestic. Yes. It's majestic enchantment. Mm-hmm. 
and the red records. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, Miss Blue, it's all cosmic comedy. Yes. The stage play. So you are invited to the wedding. The marriage is between the intellect and the intuition. And that capital L goes with Jack. Because El and Elohim, Elohim, mm-hmm. E-L, but you're going to need that capital L, right? So do the spirit work? Do the spirits really work? Some of those spirit guys like we have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if all these energies are in one human being, hmm. The phoenix that will rise from the ashes. Hmm. Remember, the phoenix is the phoenix, but using the right phoenix will open the door. That's why it's A. Remember, remember it's supposed to be 27. There's only 26 alphabets. Remember, we gave the A, B, C, D all the way to the end, but it's supposed to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y, Z, and key. <laughs> mm-hmm. The key supposed to be at the end because the key activates and opens the door. Right. But the phoenix that needs to rise is your phoenix in doing that shit right. Mm-hmm. And, and guess what it does? Guess what it takes to do it right, Ms. Blue? Mm. Guess what's the key to doing it right? Suffering pain, pain, suffering, mistakes. Mishaps, disagreements, what else will cause you to do shit right? How long do you want to experience that? Because in, in your heart of hearts, you know the shit you have suffered, the, the, the mistakes you have made came from you not doing shit right. And what else would trigger you wanting to do it right this time? That's right. Because, see, you see that L? You see that capital L? That L is a right angle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's doing it right. If you draw the capital L, it's a right angle. That's right. It's a right angle. See, look, that's right. <laughs> that's the right angle, which is the right angel. Mm-hmm. The L is E L. Mm-hmm. L, the capital L. The L is the activation of pure light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The L, the capital L is the activation of pure light. Mm-hmm. And what the opens you up to come to on. Love. Yeah. That's right. And that's why the lights need to come on in the inside. And before we strike the match right now to give you the light, let's go back to this page. Let's go back to the page. This is this is a very important important part of the lesson. This page, this page in the tarot deck, because the purpose of the page is one of the most difficult challenges of male and female alike, and that's to get on the same page. You know how hard that shit is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know how hard it is to get on the same page? Do you see how easy it was to get on the same page and self-invested last night because everybody's sharing their own experience and not being judged for it? That's right. And, and, and getting love and support in whatever they are experiencing. But this is the most complicated and difficult thing to do, Miss Blue, is get on the same page. Hmm. It's just like everyone being on the exact same stage. That's right. At the same time performing. Hmm. This is why they have time slots. Right. There's different performers in different time slots. That's just like open the lines and let everyone ask their questions at one time. Mm Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard to get on the same page with that many people talking with different questions and different experiences and different scenarios going on in their life. Because when you get to the same page, you move to peace and harmony. That's right. 
And look and look what's stated. Look, look, check this page out. We talking about the little boy page, right? You talking about the page in the in the deck, right? Look, listen to everybody say about the page in the tarot deck, in that jack in the in the card deck. It is stated that the page has a special place in the perception of many with the tarot. Look what it says. Because the page is the dreamers of the royal family. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a deep statement. Mm -hmm. The page is are the dreamers of the royal family. Look at the role of the page. Remember, the royal family is the king and queen. Now, the king and queen on the throne, right? They handle the business. But look, the page always have the ears to the street and their nose to the air. <laughs> See the the page, the page stay on on the ground. See the the page is speaking and getting messages from the little birds and the the little reports and what's going on and it's reporting it back to the royal family. That's a page. Mm -hmm. That's a page. It really the protection for the court because the page is dreaming the court stays together. Listen to what they say about the page. Look at one of the attributes of the page, Miss Blue. Mm -hmm. And the page, remember, is in, in, in training to be a knight. It say the page can hear messages. Yes. It's deep. Look, the page can hear messages from the oracle mm. that no one in the royal family can hear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the page doesn't sound like a sage. Yeah. The page is sounding like a sage. <laughs> the page, so but, so when I is directly connecting the page to the oracle, because they say the page can hear messages from the oracle. So why the oracle don't meet with the royal family? The oracle meet with the page mm -hmm. to send back the message. The page captures capture the essence of the transition. And the page also gives the key on how to move smoothly with precision mm -hmm. that other can assist you with. It's all page. Very important. And, and don't even think about the pages in the book you read. Think about the page of the little child. That's why they said the little child would get into heaven before, before. the goddamn adult. Because that's look what right. the page is defined. The, this page is defined as a little boy who is in training to be a knight. Hmm. He's in the first stages in training of knighthood. Page is the youth of ceremony. Remember, you hold the bride's train so the bride won't trip. You know, them brides are always tripping. Let's go about that in the workshop. Yeah. Do, do y'all remember the, remember the pages, Miss Blue? Mm -hmm. The pagers? Oh, yeah, when pagers were out. Yes. The beepers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beepers. <laughs> the beepers. The beepers. Mm -hmm. See, because look, the pages, the pages are attended. The page is a bellman, a foot soldier. Mm hmm. Delivery man, servant, right, waiter, right. waitress. The the paper boy that throws the paper. That, that's how Warren Buffett started out as a page. Sure did. Now he owned the pages. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta know the whole ropes. You can't just just jump into the to the throne. You gotta you gotta start off small. You gotta crawl before you walk. Mm -hmm. So you you need the youth of this page. Hmm. Remember when we said that page what, what had that, that youth and that vigor and always amped up? Yes. What we have to do, we have to carry that air. We have to carry that air. And this is what we're doing with the remix, Miss Blue. Mm -hmm. That L is the L in the word lamp. Mm -hmm. It's a lamp. 
because the purpose of the page is to carry the light. Remember, yes. light don't travel. That's right. Yes. But if you build a lamp, <laughs> you can carry it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you build a lamp. That's right. You can carry it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, because the page is a little boy. Remember the, the remember the, the child. The child is a lamb. Because mm-hmm. the, the lamp and lamb is the same word. Because lamp is nothing but lamb with the P upside down making a B. Mm-hmm. A little B. Turn the P upside down and lamp become a lamb. Mm-hmm. 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 So the lamp is an upside down P. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about the light of your mind. Right. We talking about the lamp. And so why this is significant tonight and why is this the perfect thing that's closing everything out? Because there's a lot of L's that's not in place because we get so fixated on the L which we connect to losing. Yeah. Well, ain't that the song took an L last night? Yeah. <laughs> took an L last night, but I bounced right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and look what people don't know the L what most people don't know the L is also the fifth letter in the NASDAQ stock symbol for the stock market mm. mm-hmm. it's letting you know the stocks are trading at a all time low that L is for low mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's a lot of transition that's going on mm-hmm. and so when we talk about why this exists? Because most of what we're doing right now is connected to the red records. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have shed blood. And as my sister always say, if the earth could speak, it would spit up our blood first. Yeah, yeah, so true. The red records. Mm-hmm. The red records. But as we know in Voodoo, and no perfect person to represent this pantheon than Kafu. Mm-hmm. Because of the blood, because of the blood moon, the black moon, the black magic, the red records, right. people have shed a lot of blood, and you are inherited. You have an inheritance to pick up. Yes. And the reason the Joker movies keep coming out because. That that whole energy, which you know, the king, I'm going to see the king, I'm going to see the king. Well, the king is waking up on the inside of you. Right. And this is going to directly tie into the next thing we're going to do in self investing, Miss Blue, because we getting ready to break down the whole tree of life. Because, see, in that, on that tree of life, it represents the different stages we are going to. So right now, if you want to tap into the energy, you have to go from kindness to beauty. Mm-hmm. From kindness to beauty. Not because just the on the outside. the only way this shit is going to work, not, not on the outside. See, the only way this is going to work, you have to retire from the outside. You got to put a retirement papers in. You got to put your retirement papers in. Retire on the outside Mm -hmm. and embark on a new magical journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like the song you played earlier. The journey in is so high. Yes. It's the inner journey. Mm -hmm. The introvert. Mm -hmm. The inner vision. The inner self. That's right. From the noisy outside to Mm -hmm. the serene inner calmness, like the Peppermint Patty commercial. Mm Mm-hmm. Really solitary confinement. Yes. Put yourself in a hole. Put yourself in a black hole. Mm Mm-hmm. So, now we are not, we're not telling people to escape from their responsibilities of going to no abandonment. Don't get ghosts. That's not the lesson here. No. We are talking about seeking and searching out the scrolls of yourself. Pull out the lock of you. Yes. But you have to get to a place where you find your sense of humor because if you ever make it to your sense of humor, 
where the joker resides is going to be the indicator that you are close to the king and queen on the inside. That's right. It's all taking place inside of you. Mm-hmm. So this October is going to be a hell of a roller coaster ride. Watch what I tell you. It's already happening. I was gonna it's going to be a lot. Black Monday. It's going tomorrow is going to be a serious day. You don't know, you know, and mm-hmm. and no one knows what the future holds, but it's going to be a hell of a day tomorrow. And this is why you know, good thing, but we did this Friday, Saturday. We work all weekend. That's right. But we have to because this is part of our responsibility. Mm-hmm. Cosmic comedy. The proof of your purchase. So build a lamp. And that's what we, for those who who want it, we provide the lamp. The wisdom, realization, the mental maturity, the inner light. But Miss Blue, all that's in you. Oh, yes. All that's in you. Oh, yes. That's why that show you did, the Sisters of, of Transformation, was so powerful. Man, that, I, I, I mean, you, I thought it was me the first time they went to sleep. I listened again and zoned out and, and checked out again. Like, God damn, where is this show taking me? <laughs> like, it was so deep. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I, that was a serious experience. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Powerful. Lots of information to to, mm-hmm. to unpack for just a moment there, uh, you guys. Definitely want you guys to get on the phone lines. 515-605-9794 is the number to call. Press 1 once you get on the phone lines if you would like to speak with myself and Brother Bilal. And uh, we'll be taking your calls here live in the forum. So we got a lot of time, Mm -hmm. (laughs) which is really good because we didn't get a lot of time on Friday. Um, So if you have a question, definitely come on the phone lines and press 1. You can try to see, mm, I don't think it's available. I don't want to say that, so we won't. Um, But um, yeah, so we're going to go straight to the phone. So we're going to go straight to the phone. Ooh, I just heard myself come Ooh, back. I just heard myself come. Did y'all hear that? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to go to the phone lines. I keep hearing an echo. I don't know where that's coming from. But anywho, yeah, let's go to the phone lines. Let's go to the caller calling in from area code nine one six five nine one six five you're live on planet remix please tell us who you are and where you're calling from hello yes hello greetings who's on the line please oh how you doing Ms. Blue? i'm wonderful how are you uh, all right this, this is juan this is who juan Jawanza, where are you calling from, Jawanza? I'm in California right now. You in California? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I trust that you're not nowhere close to the fire. And even though I don't see a physical fire, I see a very big spiritual fire around you. You want to talk to us and tell us what's going on and say hi to Brother Bilal? Oh, what's up, Brother Bilal? Oh, it's all good. What's up, Big Bella? No, that's all good. Cool. Man. I finally got you Pray on the line. Fire. I was in Germany. Give me a reading huh? or something. I finally got on the line with you on the line, so maybe give me a reading today or something. But uh, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm just it's a lot going on with me, but I'm not. I ain't tripping. But yeah. there's a lot going on. I just don't want to complain about it. Well, that's fine. We 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 definitely don't want to hear your complaints, but we are about solutions. <laughs> um, I do see the fire yeah, around man. you, even though it's not physical. You got a lot of fire around you. Yeah. Well, what that mean? You got a lot of shit going on that's about to burn you up if you nice. don't take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Did, did that help? 
That makes sense, huh? <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> makes a lot of sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last part, though, that's about to burn you up if you don't, you know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, shit just not gonna go away now. And look, that's another thing too, brother. You can't step into that next level until you close these old chapters. That's why I was talking about turning that page. But you just can't turn to a different chapter in the book and think that shit just gonna go away. It's on your ass right now. Give me your birthday while you tell us what's happening. Uh, May 9th, 1980. 1980. 6.44 a.m. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. But tell us what's happening. What's going on right there? What you mean, like with me? Yeah. yeah what's happening? You have a question. Mm-hmm. You press yeah, everything. On. Every what's not happening? <laughs> I'm, 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 you know I'm, what? I'm dead ass here. Yeah, what's but how, not how, happening how you gonna get how you gonna get a solution if you don't tell us? I mean, what what part you want us to check out here? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, right now I'm about to. I'm saying I'm about to go back to uh, New York. I came out to California to do something. I thought it was gonna be something that ain't that, and it's time to go. Mm. You got mm. put out. No. Uh, yeah, but not by not by my woman though. I didn't say who said your woman. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> Um, maybe I, mean, this... not, I know you didn't say that, Ms. Blue. I'm just saying. I mean, well, I mean, you know, a, like a, a hurt dog holler first. I didn't say your woman. I yeah. said you about to get put out, and you said not by my woman. No, that already happened. That happened. That, that didn't happen. Mhm. 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 So let mm-hmm. me let me ask you a question because we really don't. We have time, but we don't have time. What is it that, how can we help you? How can we be of assistance to you? Because I'm going to tell you, my patience is getting a little short with this, this kind of endless banter back and forth. How can we help you? Well, I just, you know, I wanted to give uh, the reading, you know, most of all. But I guess y'all already told me. You said you've seen the fire and all that. Um, listen, listen. Uh, you, can you can you slow yourself down and let us answer our own questions? We're right here, so you don't have to answer for us. Um, you could just talk for yourself. So you want Brother Bilal to give you a reading? Perfect. Yes. Yeah, you ain't gonna like what I see. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It, you time. I'll be, let, let me. I'm gonna be straight as I can. It's time to get up out of California. And if you didn't hear Friday night show, I was talking about being out uh, 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 the bar game, right? Being locked behind yeah. bars. It's time for you. To, it's time for you to check out Cali, because you don't you don't want you don't want to be behind your own gold bars. You don't need to be behind bars. Your right. your energy itself. Remember, <clears throat> your overall energy and vibration is one of freedom. I don't want nobody to tell me shit. I'm going to do it my way. You know, that whole, I don't know. But it, it, but it locks you straight in jail. Most people with this vibration go straight to jail. I, I done, I've been doing this shit over 25 years. And when I tell you, you got some, some bars around you, you need to get the buck up out of Cali. There ain't nothing really else to talk about. Get you a ticket and, and get back to get home. Okay, so what do I do with that vibration though? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm understanding that I don't want to go discipline. to jail. This, you don't have no discipline. You ain't got no discipline. You ain't got no discipline, bro. Because, look, you can't sacrifice yourself for paper money. You keep sacrificing yourself for the bag, bro, and that your intuition never lied to you. You have a strong intuition. Your fucking dreams are turned to nightmares to try to get you not to make the wrong decision. But for some reason, that bag is too appealing or whatever the, the, the little glitter is that keeps shining. You got to get some discipline. You see, because freedom without discipline, just like I say, say, bro, don't, don't get nothing else to drink. Man, you can't tell me don't drink no fucking more. And then you drink, throw up all over my fucking cough, and I, I, I got you my cough, vacuum, and, and now we pissed off at each other because you didn't have enough discipline to stop drinking because you don't want nobody to tell you what to do. And I get it. I don't want nobody to tell me what to do, but understand what the consequences are. You got to get some discipline. And you better have enough discipline to get up out of California. 
Yeah, I'm out here winning. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to talk too much of <laughs> your business over the phone. Yeah, you don't want to talk too much. Yeah, you know, I, I appreciate uh, that. I, I I got exactly what I need. Well, well, good because yeah, that fire that little, fire is raging. But, well, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want you to burn. I don't 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 do it to me. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Let's be clear. I didn't start the fire. That fi- that, that fire. No, is- I know, but I know you tell me up so you don't no, play no, no. games. So I'm not. Know. I'm not. I'm. I'm good. I already said what I had to say, and you got what you came for. So you know, mm-hmm. we Gucci, as they say, we Gucci. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. <laughs> you right, welcome. You Peace and love. Hold the line. <laughs> All right. Aww. All right, we're going to go to the next caller calling in from area code. Uh, let's see, calling in from area code 541-5416. 5416, you're live on Planet Remix. Hi, thank you for taking my call. This is Camille in Oregon. Okay, greetings to you, Camille in Oregon. Thank you. And for a funny way, I called in because when I tried to listen through the Blog Talk Radio site, for some reason it's just playing classical music. Oh, how beautiful, though. So, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. It's very beautiful, but it's not... Yeah. I don't know. So I dialed in thinking, okay, and then I've been listening on speakerphone because for some reason it's still like that. So I don't know. Oh. That's just what I'm hearing on my end, but... No, Whatever. I think the phone lines are full, yeah. so that could be it, Camille. Yeah, yeah I, I think the that. phone lines are full. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we're glad to have you on the line. Did you have a question for us tonight? Oh, of course I do. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'd like some insight into my own finances, how that will be shifting within the next, I don't know, now through the end of the year. Hmm. Get, give me your birthday. Let me see how you, uh, let me see how it's lined up. Let me get your birthday. Oh, yes. July 13th, 1976. July 1976. 13th. Yep, 713. Uh-huh. Oh, and the day of 13th. I See, know. That's, that's what, what you have to figure out, too. <laughs> Every 13 is your birthday, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, indeed. Every month on the 13 is your birthday. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Let me see, let me see, let me see here. One second. And so what else is going on? So that's the only thing you worried about is the finances right now? Uh, that and then my relationship has been pretty quiet. With my boyfriend, Josh, it's been really, really, really um, stagnant. Not a whole lot going okay. on. Well, I'm getting no more quiet than that. <laughs> so what are you yeah. not talking right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what? We are, so what? but there's a lot. Are you in the same house? No, no, not yet. Okay. Well, that could be some of the quietness. Wait, well, hold on. What do you mean, not yet? If it's quiet, is ever going to get in the same house? We were talking about him moving in, and then that has fallen through. Mm. What you did now? What did I do? Mm-hmm. I don't think I did anything. I'm, but I hope I didn't. <laughs> I did say it. No, 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 that's cool. The wife fell through. Yeah. No, no, no. We weren't talking about being faithful. So what did he do? Um, he's taken too much on. He's taken too much on in terms of family and work. Oh, he he's just, a very yeah. He couldn't handle it. He worker. just yeah. He couldn't handle it. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot going on, and then he takes care of people who, in my opinion, should um, be mature adults and figure out their own stuff. But that's not I. That's not my place to say, you know, but that's what I see. But how about it is that your place person. to say? But listen, listen, I'm looking at your yeah. I'm looking at your birth chart right now. All of your okay. challenges are in not speaking up, not opening your mouth when you're supposed to, and probably talking when you're not supposed to. 
Like, damn, you right. said that shit last week when it happened. It would have been right on time. Right, right. So you got to get your timing right with speaking up. Because how about that is what he needs to hear? I mean, shit, don't look like he going to move in anyway. What's the chance? What, you ain't, it's not taking a chance. Right. At least speak what's on your mind. That may be the very thing to get us. You know what? You're fucking right. Yes. But you're going to sit around and sit on your hands. And especially, you put some fire under there. especially I mean, if it's someone you love, you want to be able to tell them the truth of how you feel um, about the situation mm-hmm. rather than just letting it foster and foster inside of you. You know, you should be close enough that you yeah. could, you should be able to express that to them and say, you know, I understand what you're going through. I mean, how long have you guys been dating for about a year? Almost one year. Yeah, that's what I picked mm-hmm. up. About a year uh, that you guys have been dating. And, you know, and then you'll find out where the relationship is. Because sometimes it could be two people in the relationship, but one person can be somewhere completely else in there, you know. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, he well, he better be living in Oregon, but he's not in Oregon. You know what I'm saying? Catching oh, that. Oh, yeah, right, right. Catching that flight. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. No, I don't know. No, no, he's a good dude, man. He just, he just love everybody. <laughs> just love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's nothing wrong with that, baby. Wow. So, look, I don't see nothing really. I, but tell me so what type of work you do. Oh. Well, he works in the school. No, 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 no. You do. You do. Oh, which, oh, I, I, me, yeah. I am a hypnotherapist. Yeah, we look at your money flip. Yeah, okay, I, okay, I okay. am a hypnotherapist and life coach. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Are oh, you good at that? Oh, that's your thing. Yeah. yeah. That oh, lines yeah. up to what you do. So what's okay. the problem? And, and why you was worried about the flow of money? Yeah. Um, because okay, I live in a small town. And um, I'm very comfortable working online, virtually, working, connecting with uh, Facebook and Zoom and all those things. I can meet a more wider audience working virtually, whereas, mm-hmm. and people have money to do that, but working within town, it's a lot of, I don't have money, I don't have money, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Okay, so mm-hmm. it's kind of like... Um, In my immediate city, it's Mm -hmm. not necessarily ideal to work with people here. Okay. So why are you? But I am building a reputation. It sounds like you figured that part out. Yeah. So what's the problem then? So why are you not doing online? Yeah. So why aren't you just Mm -hmm. working online? Um. I am. I am slowly but surely building that, and. I figured out my schedule. I mean, I have a child in school, so I know it's beneficial for me to work when she is out of the home, when she is at school. So I know my work hours. So I'm slowly but surely taking on clients, and I'm available. I'm here. I want to do this. I want to serve, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I like it. I like it. But I, I don't I don't see the flow, but I, I do see start building up the clientele because the year is gonna come in fast and you know the type of that type of work you do, everybody looking to reset their life for twenty twenty. You need to start right now oh, yes. start a campaign. Yeah, you can start a nice campaign, a nice even if you do a New Year's type thing, party, like come revitalize your life, renew, refreshing. You know, just just do that yeah, I know inside the city and uh get on your get on your uh, on online, what you saying? Build your clientele up online. That's there's a, a lot idea. there's a lot That's of people idea. looking for you. There's a lot of people That's looking for idea. you. Yeah. And what, what area do you specialize in? Oh, so far I'm doing a lot of uh, stop smoking, helping people to stop smoking, manage stress, manage anxiety, time and management. Stop smoking cigarettes. Uh, smoke stop computer. smoking cigarettes. Stop smoking okay. cigarettes. Mhm. Mm. And now I see that people are having trouble, difficulty with um, vaping, 
And mm, that's a whole, I'm telling you, you know what? Hold on. Now yeah, you're talking. No, 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 no. no. I got to yeah. jump. I got to jump in here. Yeah. I got to jump in here. How long have you been doing the work you've been doing in hypnotherapy? Um, It's been... Okay, I got the training 13 years no, ago. No, no, but I took no, a no, break. no, 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 no. Hold so on, hold I've on. I've been dedicated for the past two Come, years. Lis- listen to me. Two years. Listen to me. How long have you been doing the work you've been doing? Two years. Two years. So now. In the two years that you've been doing the work, what is your number one requested thing that people are coming to you for? People are coming to me because they want to transform their lives. Okay. Period. So stop Period. right stop right there. So why are you trying to help them stop smoking? Why are you trying to do all these other things when you already know what they're coming for? Because, see, that hypnotherapy, and I'm very familiar with that. I haven't took any formal training, um, but that whole realm of getting into the subconscious is one of those things that I can get into. And I can see that you can do that, too. In fact, you're talking from your subconscious right now. That's why you're editing every word. So I'm going to encourage you to use your own training on yourself. Develop that on you so that you can become present in the moment and speak freely from your heart. That's the first step in transformation. And you have some real power there because a lot of things that you've been through, a lot of challenges you've been through, really in the last, I want to say 15 years, your last 15 years has been... If we were to take a look at it on paper, a whole lot of downs, more downs than up. And now you're finally to the place where you do have something you're passionate about and that you love. So start taking these hypno trainings and when you're making or scripting out your work and think about the things that you want to script them for. The question you're asking us about accessing that financial flow, opening up that creativity, how to transform your life. These are the subjects that you can begin to do that it doesn't matter whether you're doing that in person, whether you're doing that online, people will come to you. Now, I'm not saying that there is not power in you trying to help people to stop vaping. There's a little inside joke there with the vaping and the smoking. I think all of those things are wonderful, but I also think if you really want to tap into where your power is, then you have to go with what you need the most. And I have learned that in my work. See, the work that we want to do so much for others is what we need to learn for ourselves. And what you want more than anything right now is how to transform yourself to the next level. So be your own test experiment. Be your own alchemy. Be your own transformation. And use what you're doing on yourself. And then you can become that subject matter expert. And you can give that back to the people because that's what they want. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm going to listen to this in archives. Yeah. When you, when you, you have to definitely make sure you understand that making money and spirituality is on two different levels. And if you're going to get the bag, you got to go where people are holding the bag. And I hate to be the one to tell you, but quit smoking, that ain't the lick, whether it's vaping or not. Because usually people who are tied into those things, that's what they're going to do. Okay, that makes sense. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, man. You got the yellow, baby. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. You're All welcome. Right. Call right. the line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the next caller. 
Let's see where we're going to go. We're going to go to the next caller, and I... Hmm. Next caller calling in from area code 6303. 6303, you're live on Planet Remix. Please tell us who you are and where you're calling from. Hi, Miss Blue. It's Priestess Jasmine calling from Jersey. Okay, greetings to you, Priestess Jasmine. All right, now. <laughs> Hi. Sound like you're on and the I highway. How are you doing? I am, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm driving right. home. So I have kind of a strange question. I know that in the self-invested and everything, we've been talking about um, Bujun, and I keep on getting this kind of reoccurring thought in my mind, like open the gate for me, only it's not in English. And I'm just kind of wondering what yeah. that means in relation to Legba. Hmm. Uh, in relation to Elegba? Yeah, I keep on, like, there's a whole phrase that I keep on getting. Um, my uh -huh. mother had tried to write a book a while ago, and she had tried to use, like, a, a voodoo phrase, and then she decided not to do the book anymore because she felt uncomfortable. And I keep on hearing, like, right. what she used to say over and over again, which was kind of like a ceremony, and it's, it's, the translation right. was, like, open the door to me. But I want to understand exactly mm. what that means and why I keep on hearing it over and over again in my head for the past, like, two weeks. And what are you, what are you hearing mm. again? I don't understand exactly what it means, like why I've been hearing that. No, no, no. I, kind of what, what, are, what are you hearing? Well, the phrase I'm hearing is out of own life, uh, and do way, do way, do way. And then there's like open the door for me. And I don't understand what that means or why I keep on hearing that. So here, here's the question I want to ask you, and I apologize because it's just a lot of feedback coming in. So I may put you on mute for a minute, Jasmine. Um, okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. You said you keep hearing the phrase "open the open open the gate." What was she saying, Breath Bilal? Open the gate for me. Open the gate for me. Open the door. Yeah. Open the door for me. Open the door. Open the door. Open to me. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see if I can mm -hmm. go back to her. Six, three, let me find her here. Okay. So, Jasmine, let me ask you. Did you ask what it meant? No, I don't really understand what it means. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying, it's but did somewhat... you did you ask what it meant? Did you research it? Did you go look up a leg bar? Did you, what work did you do? No. Okay. No, nothing like that. So, here's the magic. I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah. I want you to do some work with that. If you've been hearing something for two weeks and you are still getting nothing, it is requiring an action from you. And right now, a leg bar literally has his hand gently placed over my mouth. So... A leg bar has his hands over my mouth so that you can figure this one out. Two weeks, you're getting it. You got you to gotta put some work in to see what it is. I don't even want to spoil that for you. I promise you. Yeah, yeah. Know that a leg bar is the same as Khufu. They're the same. And that's what we're talking about here tonight. And definitely he is the one who opens the gate or keeps the gate closed. But it requires the action mm -hmm. of the person. This is really where he separates himself from the rest of the pantheon. Because he requires you to do the work. Otherwise, you can't take the credit for anything. So if I tell you, you know, which I can gladly do that then, you know, all hail the energy to me, not you. I feel like I've been in a new phase in terms of my healing abilities are getting better, my psychic abilities are getting better. So okay. maybe this is all part of it, the mm. kind of inner growth. 
Well, uh, we could say everything is growth. You driving in the car, that's some beautiful growth right there. But I want you to dig a little bit deeper than that because this has been going on for uh -huh. two weeks. And I want you to be able to collect right. this prize for yourself. And if you did no research, you didn't ask any questions, you didn't question where this is coming, why this is coming, you didn't research a leg bar, you didn't research what this could possibly mean, then you haven't put in your work. And I want you to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll do it tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. I cannot <laughs> wait to hear what you got. <laughs> like right. I said, Thank I don't want you. I don't Thank want to spoil it for you. For you. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Peace and love. Good hearing from you. Hold the line. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah. I want to go to the next caller. Um, and I believe it's the international caller or they're calling in from a private number. So greetings, private number. You're live on Planet Remix. Please tell us who you are and where you're calling from. Going once. Going twice. All right. I guess you don't know your number private. Or you calling in from Skype. I guess you don't know. So we're going to put you on hold. Let's go to the next caller. Calling in from area code 6122. 6122, you're live on Planet Remix. Ooh, a lot of, lot of cosmic air going on tonight. Hello? Yes, hello. Greetings, who's on the line? My name is Danica. I'm from Minneapolis. Okay. Minnesota. Greetings to you, Demika. Thank you, and hi, Brother Balam. How you doing? Um, doing pretty good. Thank you. I did. Okay. And actually, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why I always get that way um, momentarily, but I did have some questions in reference to a lot of um, my experiences with my like career and relationships and financial status in that degree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I did call in before, and you did tell me to um, listen to the Seven Laws of Liberation. I did that. I do try to listen as much as I can mm -hmm. in that degree, but uh, okay. I haven't made many changes, so I'm looking to see, like, where I can start and what changes I can make. And I still want to know my spirit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, why don't you give me your birthday while we, uh, while you tell us what's going on or what, why the finance? Uh, my birthday is 4 11 1981. All right. And, and why the finance area? Something going on in the area? Uh, yeah, not enough, more so. But <laughs> um, yeah, mm -hmm. I've been at a position for like about three years doing um, fire rest, like restoration services and estimating in that degree. Um, okay. In the company, yeah, and right now it's not maintaining um, my home life per se. And, and it slowed up? Well, my dynamic changed completely, so oh, okay. it's just not balancing out. Okay. So it hasn't, okay. nah, I yeah. mean, it's gotten a little so better, it's not, not enough to sustain you. me. Is it, so it's more on you? Well, yeah, I don't feel like I'm utilizing my, like, degrees and... Well, but you said your what dynamic have changed. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Well, it was okay when I was in a relationship and that um, that ended. So, I, okay. you know, I had more financial responsibilities. Um, oh, okay. It was 50-50, it was okay. and, yeah, that shifted. And then I... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, now let me ask you are, you, are you using your degrees in the area that you graduated, you know, that you... Major? I'm not actually. Well, I mean, I, my that? major is in business. Well, uh -huh. yeah. Um, why? Why are you still doing? What's going on? I mean, why are you? you know, <laughs> what, what's the? I don't know if that's yeah, anxiety. What's going on? No, I ask myself that actually. So, I mean, do I utilize it? It's in business, so yes, I utilize my degree right. for you anything that. that I'm but doing. But you're still but not. Yeah, you're not fulfilled. Exactly. And but why are you I limiting yourself? What I mean, what's going on? I mean, what? See, that's not nothing to do with with the job you're on. But why are you? Why are you? 
you know, why are you getting so comfortable on a on a small scale? Um, I'm not comfortable. So initially it was because okay. I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and the businesses that I've worked at before, there was a lot of invasiveness or I was getting a lot of signals or signs that was overwhelming for me. So I kind of mm-hmm. went to this company to balance out my stress while I was finishing out school. So now I'm at the point mm-hmm. where I'm realizing my worth and where I could acquire more, but I'm trying to get out of this aspect of fear and ready to transition. But mm-hmm. I don't know if I should be patient and be where I'm at because that company is growing or if I should move around and even if I'm on my, like, what I'm doing now, honestly, I don't, I don't know if that's something I want to do on a long-term basis. To be honest, but have you not ever, in my current position. Have Have you spoke with someone about any new opportunities opening up to make more money? Do you Do you get nervous? On multiple there, occasions. Like, yeah. No, on okay. multiple and occasions, and okay. there's been jobs that were offered uh-huh. to other people that make about where I want to make, where it was supposed right. to, and it brought to, to where I was. You know, followed up for that position, but it was always given to somebody else. Or what are you? What you know, is, I just don't I'm know sorry. If I'm, in the, I'm sorry. What do you do again? I right now I'm doing um, estimation. Well, I'm an estimator by title, but I do a lot of like project management. Okay. And, That's my feel. Yeah. 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 So I do. I have I have like many hats within the company, but I my title is estimate estimator. Mm-hmm. And how long have you been working for the company? A couple of months now? No, a little over three years, actually. Mm. How long have you been in this current position? A couple of months? No, over a year. Mm-hmm. About so, a year. So what changed a couple of months ago? Because I feel like there was a shift in either your responsibilities, what you were doing uh, for a couple of months. Um, well, uh, well, I was doing, um, like, uploads or being within the office, and that kind of transitioned to where I was, like, primarily just an estimator, although I was estimating it, um, probably about a year and a half or so. Yeah. So, my me being in the office primarily and doing estimates kind of changed to where I'm, my title was primarily just estimator. Okay. Although I still do some of the other duties, I guess, is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If, you, if that's understandable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. And so what do you, what do you love to do? What are you really passionate about? Well, it's mm, a good question. I mean, I'd, I'd much rather be like a caregiver or um, being in this position, it's like a lot of money focus. No, 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 so no, no. But, part of- but I want you to really just stay with me and, and answer the question. What are you passionate about? Cause you're about to tell me what you're not passionate about. And I ask, what are you passionate about? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I think that's where I need to focus mm-hmm. more. Cause honestly, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I do love caring for people. I do love feeling as though, um, I'm helping someone or yeah. in that degree, but I don't have any career that I'm passionate about per se. I do love like strategy and mm-hmm. um, yeah, mm-hmm. as far as business is concerned, I love like strategizing. And, well, it doesn't and have to be, that, but, it, it doesn't have to be locked into business. This is locked into you, not business. I don't think I found that yet, to be mm-hmm. honest. Yeah, and and that's where some of the problems are um, there for you. I also want to ask you this. Tell me about you, and I'm getting a lot of feedback from you. I don't know if you got a fan on, you sitting next to a window, or the ocean is outside your door. Um, but... Yeah, you sound pretty distant. <laughs> Sounds nice. Yeah. But hold on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the headset I was on, because I was <laughs> quitting oh, and I want to make sure I can There you everything. go. Girl, Man, you, you girl, you took me out oh, to no. the sea. I done went all the way across the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean. I said, wow, look at I'm these. I'm like, that sounds nice. Yeah. I'm not there. <laughs> well, I, I, I promise you, them, them waves took me across the Atlantic. But it brings me to something which really ties into what we're talking about tonight. And I'm going to make my focus here. I was waiting for Spirit to just sort of open the doorway. And 
you know, you are the one to open that doorway to the red record. So I want to ask you about you and generational curses. When I say that to you, what does that mean when you hear that generational curse? Mm. First thing that came to mind was um, choices that parents make that could essentially affect their children and yeah. Yeah. And what came to me was, uh, yeah. No, no, no. no, no <laughs> I don't no. want to say per se, but. Yeah. No, no, no. We want you to say you're in the business of wanting to help people. This could certainly help a whole lot of people. Trust me. Mm. Sometimes I feel like my choices have negatively affected my children, and that kind of eats at me a little bit. Mm-hmm. But um, I see it going on through generations, whether it's to do with alcohol or, you know, just different choices that people make. And I've been seeing a lot, you know, just looking, you know, at my family and our, yeah, like our grandfather was into a certain thing. So like a part of me wants to be conscious about intake and how it affects children altogether. Mm-hmm. Or my children, for you know, right. specifically. But and so what but was also your, my nieces and nephews and yeah. yeah. What was your grandfather into? Um, he was into alcohol. Yeah, yeah, and you know that too well. <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, you do. I mean, it's nothing to hide here, and I mm-hmm. think you know that when you call in. Um, that's, that's one of my passions, what I come to do and I can read energy and sometimes it's not always, and I don't want to mix sugar with, sh- there, there you go. You <laughs> don't want to mix sugar with shit. Um, and, and sometimes it's necessary <laughs> mm-hmm. that we do share all of it with you guys. And sometimes it's not, I really listen to spirit on that. And that's why I say you are the ones to open up the red records tonight. So congratulations. And the first thing I'm going to do is give you a divine gift of how to break generational curses. Look at that. Uh You want to know how to do it? I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And that's just due to your honesty of coming on, speaking with us and Brother Bilal. And it's not something I'm granting you. So let me be clear. We're not giving you this. Spirit is giving you this by vehicle of me. So how you you break a generational curse? Number one, by focusing on you. And I want you to really take that in. That's how you, that's how you initially start to break a generational curse is by Focusing on you. The second step is you have to be 100% committed to being a witness in your whole life. Not a part of your life. Not some of your life. Your whole life. Not just when you got a man. Your whole life. Number three. You must not do this at any cost. And that is you cannot compare yourself to anyone in your family. Be it your mother. Be it your father your grandfather, your grandmother, your great, great, no one. Okay. And then you have to do something else. And this is a key to even why you have a degree there. You have to learn how to mind your own business. And I've been telling myself that um, on a different level. So hold on, because I want you to explain to me what minding your own business is about, and then I'll give you the definition when it comes to breaking generational curses of how to mind your own business. Um, Take care of your responsibilities. Be accountable for 
um, your business, like, actually mind it and be um, thoughtful and intentional in reference to your business and everything that you do. All of that. And that is so beautiful. Put it on a poster board. Put it in your phone. (laughs) Keep it close to you. Because you don't know how to mind your own business. You are trying to mind other people's business. Not them personally, but how much money they make. What kind of family structure they have. What their man does for them. What their children look like. What their children wear to school. You're trying to mind other people's business. And you have to be about the business of yours. And that includes your children. That includes you. That includes how you run your household. That includes your morals. That includes your principles. That includes your values. And you don't have those systems in place. So you can't even start mining your own business. And if you're going to break a generational curse, you have to have a foundation. You know, as well as I do in business school, you have to start out with a creed. And that creed is everything. You don't move forward. You don't move backwards. And you don't make lateral moves. You stand still on the creed. Everything else begins to orbit itself around it. And so you have to take those things that you've learned in business and apply them to your life. Because the first business that you have to manage is yours. And I keep getting the thought to manage my household. And sometimes I feel like it's like everything's just overwhelming. It is. Um, it is. Yeah. If you try to do it that way. So can we start by you focusing on you and taking it step by step and then being a witness in your life, not comparing yourself to anyone in your family. And minding your own business. Just take it day by day. And step by step. And know your truth. Not your grandfather truth. Because he already proved what his truth got him. With alcohol. You got to know what your truth is with it. And you've already seen that. It has cost you a lot. Mm -hmm. And mine isn't. Yeah. yeah, And I shouldn't compare. I guess. No. No. You can't compare because (laughs) unlike your grandfather who was able to function to some degree, when you drink and come down, it sends you into a deep, dark depression and it takes you too long to come back out. Mm -hmm. And you have children who are looking to you to be the very best person you can be. So if you want to break a generational curse, you have it. You have the formula from the red records in your hand. Now the rest is up to you. And I know you can do it. Okay, thank you. I had another question too. Um, In the beginning, Brother Bilal, you were reading off the different cards and what they mean. Um, and where you're at, I could relate to like a lot of them, to be honest. I was just wondering where you would see me. Mm. I know, but you, you didn't even take in what Ms. Blue just gave you right <laughs> fast. I think you need to sit still. I actually did. <laughs> yeah. I actually did. I wrote yeah. it down and, and You don't have to be in a rush, you know. yeah. No, 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 no. I just wanted you to. She said she didn't have patience and stuff too. And I'm sorry, Miss Blue. I didn't take in what you were what you were saying. No, she was talking and about with the other person. It. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know. It 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 really go right. You had number two in the deck. That whole stressed about bills. Remember I said it earlier. Stressed about <laughs> bills. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the people pleasing, that would be, you know, minding your own business. So it's really like number two in the deck. 
You're in a duality. You're in a duality. And, and actually, I related what Ms. Blue said to that, so I was trying to see, like, where I was at uh-huh. with those together, so. Yeah. Don't be in a rush, though. Don't be in a rush. Yeah, and don't be This a... is your time. See, That's Ms. Blue right. just stay focused on you. Yeah. This is your time right now. Yeah. And don't be afraid to say what you don't think know. Think about nobody else. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say what you don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, peace and Soon love to there. you. We are so glad. Thank you for opening up the Red Records because I didn't know if they were going to get open tonight, but there it mm-hmm. is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh-huh. thank you, guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> you will. And I'll get to working on that. <laughs> All right. Well, peace and love. Thank you. Hold the line. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. Let's go to the next caller. Calling in from area code 3347. 3347, you're live on Planet Remix. Please tell us who you are and where you're calling from. I am live. Blue Oracle, Brother Bilal. I'm with the B. The B. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that with that amazing energy? Who is that? This is Queen Mother Goddess Opulent Ra Inter. Uh, oh, greetings. One and only. <laughs> greetings. The one and only. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm yeah. a little sleepy, but I'm grateful to be here to um, be in this energy, this magnificent wow. energy on this full moon. And oh, to, yes, it is. Yes. Pose my question. As the yeah. as the red bar has come up, and the red yeah. the red the red um, door is that Record. the um, uh-huh. the um uh, what is it the uh, well y'all know what it is doesn't matter I know what it is <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. cosmic records to okay. ask you no, the red about records. Mm-hmm. the red what is that what is that what are the red records. Yes. Mm-hmm. Since I'm coming in behind you. Oh. No, no, no. Go ahead and say you said you know what the red records are. What I couldn't hear you. It's kind of going in and out a little bit. But what did you say? That I wanted to ask you about dancing, me and dancing, mm. and the mm. path that I am on with my dancing. And the message that is to come through you all regarding mm-hmm. the steps and the, the steps, the wings, the transformation that is coming through me that is so um, <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Um, mm-hmm. I seek more clarity. Mm-hmm. I seek more clarity as to mm-hmm. what is happening. So I came here. Beautiful. Yeah, we appreciate yeah, it. Really beautiful. Um, you must be really with the bees. I hope they, uh, you know, because uh, <laughs> your call is coming in and out, um, which is a beautiful sign as well, because, you know, bees themselves dance. You know, um, they play a very intricate part of understanding about formation. And when I see you dancing, one of the things that I see is that these are just not rhythm and movement, even though that is what it is. We know dancing is one of those things that brings us into the connection of the divine and into spirit. It is one of the ways through our African spiritual systems and many systems throughout the world, throughout every country in the world, when we are attempting to connect ourselves with the divine consciousness or the oneness is through the portal that is being opened through dance. And if you think about it this way, the body It's what is sort of moving the hand and the feet is scripting the sand scripts. So these sigils or patterns in which you're dancing, pay very close attention to it because they are messages from your soul that are getting unlocked 
and unleashed. And so you're not just moving sort of by osmosis. This is a very, very sacred rhythmic dance that is helping to unlock the codes of things to come and also your next rhythms. I would encourage you to study the bees because bees don't fly in a straight path. They make patterns. They make sigils. They spell out words of power of hikas, they are able to open portals and gateways and doors. And you're dancing. When it's done from the purest essence, and it's done in a place of purity and non-judgment and surrenderance, will open the door for many. Mm. I feel you. And I receive yes. the hecka of the bees, being in the company of the bees. Yes. Well, what a sacred uh, exchange of energy and, and uh, hmm. yes. Brother Bilal, you talking to me? No, I didn't, I didn't say anything, but I got something for you. Dance to Lashmi. <laughs> Lashmi wealth and and prosperity. The Lashmi song. Sure, you're right. You know, you too are are my brother, my sister, my teachers, <laughs> my friends, my family. <laughs> and we all learning together yeah. now. We oh, all learning yes. together. <laughs> oh yeah. <For> sure. <laughs> we all learning together. But that's what that's what I got for you. Power. Dance real Lashmi hard today. The Lashmi song. Yeah, yeah, we are together. Yeah. Wow. She and so so many of the other uh, goddesses travel with me, and I, and I am ever grateful. I'm ever grateful yeah. as I dance away. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> dance away. That's it. The magic of the feet. I'm telling you. In the feet. It really is. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. And do your nice feast this year too for uh you use the Thanksgiving festivities for the for the feast. The feet in the feast. Move mm. your feet in the feast. And just move. Move while you dance. You know, just dance everywhere. The magic <laughs> in the feet. That's what Michael Jackson used, the moon walking. That's right. It's in the feet. It's in the feet. All the all the energy is in the feet. All the amino acids there I mean it's all the amino it's, it's in the, in the feet. feet. That's right. Wake it up. That's, That's powerful. Right. And when you get a chance, find you some, know, have, some sand or some dirt and look okay. at the sigils that you have comprised. Or here's another thing. I do this a lot in the summertime. Paint your feet and dance with water paint and look at what comes out just from you dancing. I got some pen of it that's been waiting for me. And mm -hmm. so tonight... Tonight is the night. And the spirit of the dance has, has um, mm, I am possessed. And lots to me is, wow. is, is part of the That's powerful. Yeah. And look how all those papillons cross each other. You know, all of them are connected That's one right. way or the other. Mm -hmm. They are connected. Indeed. Word, thought, and action. Yeah. I, I be. I be about it being. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Well, You're good welcome. To hear you, baby. Thank you. Go live in opulence. Baby. Yes, yes, nice. yes. Beautiful. Well, thank good. you. It's so good hearing <laughs> from you, sister. Peace and love. Yes, indeed. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, um, what, the goddess. what a blessing. What a blessing. <laughs> the goddess in the house. That's right. Let's go to the next caller calling in from area code 2408. Two four zero eight. You're live. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Oh, good night, Miss Blue and um, Brother Lau. Good night. All right. This, this, uh, this is Abdul calling from Tacoma Park, Maryland. Okay, Abdul from Tacoma Park, <laughs> Maryland. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm good. Good. Good to hear from you. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, I have. A, oh, I hear from you too. Um, oh, I have a question. The other night I was um, 
I decided to put on a face mask. You know, like mask my face for to clean my face. And it was all white and I looked in the mirror and I started laughing. And I happened to hear the uh, about the Joker and, and the, <laughs> clown. Joker and the clown. Yeah. So which one like, were oh, you? One? Were you the Joker or the clown? I was trying to figure that out. I was I was like I was just like, well, maybe the Joker because I was laughing, but I can't really and, and I'm trying to compare it to the situation that I'm in right now. So I was like, well, yeah. am I gonna last laugh? I really just it kinda yeah. What's the situation? Well I'm gonna tell you right now if you're the clown or the joker. Tell us the situation. Oh, like right now I I mean I'm a mundane, but I I stopped paying my rent. So I'm just going through that right now and I'm, I'm not sure if I should just let them leave or should wait for Are you on speakerphone or something? <laughs> no, um, well. I know, no, I'm barely here. Yes, I say, come a little closer for me. Because we ain't here the first part oh. what you said. Oh, I was saying that, um, can you hear me better now? No, we can't. Oh. Okay. okay. I okay, mean, well, let me see if I take off the microphone and you just... Yeah, yeah, do that. That's all right. You can save Barry White for someone else. Yeah, come close. Is that better? That is so much better. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I had a headphone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so I was saying I stopped paying my rent. So, and I've been just trying to figure out if I should just exit as soon as possible or to take my time. And Wait a minute. Just to my intuition, you know, my... Hold on. You said yeah. you stopped paying your rent? Yeah, I just recently stopped. Okay. Right. Well, you don't have to worry about and whether you should leave or not, because you know what's going to happen if you don't pay it, right? Well, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 I'm just um, checking. Just checking. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm living in a rooming house with someone, and I and I was paying rent to someone that let me stay here, and I, I just recently just kind of stopped because I felt like there was something weird going on, and I just I stopped, and um. I'm 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 still looking for a new place to like another room to move into. Cause you know I was in Florida with my wife and kids and we got separated. So I'm, I'm up north and Tasia she's down south. So I'm adjusting to new on my own. Cause you know I've been with my kids and my wife for like 11 years for so long. So this is like a new thing to me. You know just being by myself and just like learning to just be on my own. So um, I was just I just stopped working so much because I thought it was so much on me. And um, and then I, I started cut my rent in half. I sort of got more. So hold on, hold hold on a second. I'm sorry. I just have to jump in here uh -huh. really quick because you you're giving out a lot of information. But let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Um, and and uh -huh. and and forgive my language. I'm gonna put that out there because it's it's gonna come across real short, real quick. So basically, you abandoned uh -huh. your family because you got tired of working. No, 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 no. I said, um, I was, I was been with him 11 years. Family. The man just said that. No, no, no. Been with him 11 years. Shit. Oh, hold on, brother. Blau. No, okay. Let me start over. Yeah, and, and before yeah, you start over, over I, I, I'm reading your records. Uh -huh. So, yeah, start okay. over. Well, well, basically, long story short, um, I got a rooming. I'm in a rooming house, and I just recently stopped um paying the guy. No, 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 no. Stop you know, right. Stop right there. Let's back up. Yeah. Because I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna you, you brought up your wife and kids of eleven years, and then you. Well, yeah, because I was living in Florida, and yeah, then and, and I just moved up here because we separated now. Okay, you moved up there because you separated. You moved up yeah, there. We, yeah, we're separated. Yeah, because I had no place to to stay. I was, um, my wife and I. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if you remember Terry Goslin, but we, um, you know, we lived together and we had a like eviction, but I had no place to stay. In Florida, so I came up here just to have a place to stay while she was in a shelter for a while. I don't know. I, I haven't heard from them in about four months, so I don't know where they are now. But they were in a shelter the last time. I, um, so, so did so wait? I, I don't know. So did y'all separate, or you left because you didn't have nowhere to go? Well, honestly, but I had nowhere to go. Okay. So, to so, so, so hold yeah. on, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. Mm -hmm. Just, just slow down just a bit. So I will go back to what okay. I said. So you left your kids and your wife. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Keep going and, with the um, story. Keep going. Yeah. I just wanted to, you know, it sounded like I was saying that harshly, but that's the truth of what happened. So keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm adjusting to living by myself, you know, because I, I live with her and my kids for the past, 
uh, seven or eight years or whatever the case may be. I mean, we've been together a lot, about 11 years, but then we have mm-hmm. children. Like 2012, my first child. And, and But this year, I, we, you know, we split apart because, but I don't think that poverty matters. But it's just that I'm here now, I'm adjusting to things. So, I'm, you know, I'm working and paying bills. I'm not used to that, you know. I'm not but used wait to a minute. Doing that. Wait a like, minute. So you don't think like having, a, stuff like having your wife and kids separate from you, you don't think that part matters about what's happening to you now? I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but what I'm saying is my current current situation is, you know, I just stopped um, paying my, my rent to this guy, and, you know, I guess he's going to do some kind of eviction or something like that, you know. But it's just that I, I'm a little worried about if I'm taking too long. That's what it is. And that, that's what it is. I'm just wondering if I'm taking too long to leave or if I'm – I know I'm stalled for time, but I hope I can – So you want, you want the right way to do the wrong thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Something like that. Are you going to the brothers workshop? <laughs> Are you going to I appreciate your honesty though. Are you going to the brothers workshop? Yeah, yeah. Um hopefully if I if I have yeah. the, the finances right now, you know, but because I'm trying to move some savings a little bit to like move out of here and so I thought about that too because I wasn't invited to the workshop and I said, Well dad, that's like I'm I'm kinda of holding off everything that I have because just in case you guys can leave or or they try to take me out or whatever case can be at least I have some some money with me to go wherever. So in case in case so, in case they decide to do you like you did your wife and kids, that's what you're worried about. You don't want well, that I mean, to I happen. To, you don't want that to happen to you. Well, well, I, I have to leave my wife and kids. I can if I stayed um, in Florida, I would have just been homeless, and I didn't see that was going to do anything for them. So I said, well. Let me just go up north. You said, and, you and said, bucket, two so, peas in a bucket. I'm out of here. Deuces, y'all. <laughs> Fend for yourself. No, that's not what happened. Mm-hmm. No, that's not No, no. Yeah, that's that not was, yeah you're telling the story <laughs> bad, man. You got to you gotta clean it up a little bit. Because well, now you sound like the she, fool. You know what I'm saying? She, remember, we did a clown. Well, the joke and the fool. <laughs> well, she, I mean, she got, I mean, we got, well, she got pregnant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, wait. Stop for a second. No, by me. Stop for a second. Because you you just said your wife got pregnant. You you know, I know what this is. I know what this is, Abdullah. This is the part, as (laughs) as my daddy say, this is the part that I have to play crazy. So I'm going to play crazy, and I'm just going to listen. I'm going to close my mouth and play crazy yeah. okay. and listen. Keep going. Yeah, it's shock okay. therapy. I'm used to this. I'm used to brothers. Go ahead, baby. I hear you. Take the story, man. Well, this is going to be one of the topics in the workshop. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've, been, I've been dealing with um, immigration for, like, immigration for so many years. So since I, I don't work, I stay home and watch the kids, and my wife yeah. works. But she got pregnant. <laughs> and I can afford to pay the oh, rent. Oh, she got pregnant. She, she went somewhere else and got well, pregnant? No, okay, we, that's what I said. That's why why you I said keep saying she pregnant. got pregnant? Uh, well, okay, we you, had a date. You saying she got pregnant, like, you can't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, dude. I don't know. You're going over my fucking head. Now you, you're getting too good with the shock therapy. <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. All right, go go again. She got pregnant. All right, we got you pregnant. You know the guy who did it? Gotta love we, the brothers. Yeah, that's better, man. Well, uh-huh. Yeah, we got pregnant. So she and got pregnant and you she, and you rolled out. <laughs> no, then she had to stop. She had to stop working, and you know, being that I don't have um any ID or or, or any social or anything, I'm still an immigrant. Whatever case may be, whatever you know, I, I can find no yeah. no stable work. So because I can't find anything stable, I mean, of course, we, we end up getting evicted. But I, I didn't have no place to go. But hold on. So but the best more. thing to do was to leave her and the kids in a homeless shelter? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, if I, if, I mean, if I was financially Ab- able to Ab- do Ab- Abdul- Ab- Ab- Abdullah, Abdullah, yeah, been for one second, I want you to hold. Because I mean, she didn't get pregnant by herself, though. I want to say this. There are some. Well, she wanted to have a boy. She wanted some... to have a boy, and I didn't really want to have a child. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I'm gonna. Ho- I'm going to help you help yourself. There are some okay. sisters in the blue room that is screaming, Brother Bilal, How much does this workshop cost? Mm-hmm. Because she said, "I'll pay for him to go to the workshop." Reaching the bonus. Oh yeah, she- he, he need more than one seat. <laughs> he need more than one seat though. With these issues. 
<laughs> he got, he got, yeah, it's like, y'all want to pay three seats for this one. It's like the airplane, you know, like you can't sit on one seat. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of baggage right here, boy. Now, look, I don't think we had that much time in the workshop, because you're going to take up the whole workshop with this type of issue. God <laughs> damn, I'm doing You come online and talk like this ain't shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I really wanted to, it, 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 really, I want to talk. I was just wondering about the hey, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I do, but, but no, 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 uh -huh. no. But listen, let's have this good. Mm. Your question is to see if you the joker or the fool. <laughs> and then the I'm second sorry. question was, no, no, yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> then the it's, second question was, give you a good time to move out before they catch you and kick you out. You didn't say nothing about your family. That should have been first and foremost, like, man, are they all right? Are they still good? Mm -mm. You know, you, you mm -mm. didn't have, you, that was like way down the line. Oh, I do. Well, because I'm trying to figure out my, yeah. my he, current situation. But Brother Bilal, Bilal he, he Abdullah, Abdullah when said, no you to them. but wait, Abdullah said that um, ain't got nothing to do May, with what's going on now. Wait, when was the last time? Be honest. And we got, yes, yeah, yes, we got a little argument because, you know, we separated and she got a girlfriend and it was some, I guess I got jealous of a kiss and be, you know how it goes. Oh, don't was, wait, I mean, wait, know, wait. let me, hold on, hold on a second. What I'm not well, going to let you do, hold on, what I'm not going to let you do okay. is try to throw her under the bus because it's getting a little hot in your seat where you sitting at. We not going to do that. Okay. But I will say oh, this to I, you. No, it's not bad. No, no, no. I mean, it's hold not on. negative. I mean, I'm no, not, no, no. I'm I didn't kind of, say. I, didn't. I don't know how much time I have, so I kind of was kind of like. Hold on a second. Up, okay. I'm not. This is not from a place mm -hmm. of judgment. I'm stopping you before you can catch yourself because you ain't doing a good job at sort of catching yourself. So I'm trying to give you, you know, so you can start slowing down a little bit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So go go ahead. So you. So the what last... kind of girlfriend she had here, yeah, dude? <laughs> say it again. What say? What kind of girlfriend she you talking about here? Well, I mean, prior to us separating, she got in a relationship with a, a girl, female, and I was. Man, like, that, I that's not who got her pregnant, huh? <laughs> yeah. Man, she got pregnant. Might as well could have. Let me stop. Let me stop. Um, <laughs> but you know what? It, 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 it was. <laughs> it, it, it was yeah. just that yeah. we, were, we were going through a, a, a separation, and and, and plus, right. eviction was going to happen, and she happened to get a girlfriend at the same time. So for me, of course, I feel insecure. I was like, you know what? I wish I could have taken care of it. Yeah. I had, you know, I got a job. I got everybody else or whatever case be. This immigration stuff was kind of like really annoying all my life trying to like work. So like I always worked on the side, little side jobs and stuff like that. And I never did anything. Um, oh, and I, and you I did do. For, you know, Wait a minute. You did do something. You stayed home and took care of the children. Husbandry. That's called husbandry. Yeah. That's a real profession. Yeah. A lot of women will yeah. Yeah, so I was doing a lot of that. But it didn't yeah, look and, like you were you know, doing a great like job of doing husbandry. Yes, I was I was doing that. But no, no, no. You wasn't doing years. a great job at it. Cuz you would still be husbandrying no, it and your wife would still be working. And you want to throw her under the bus, but you do know that this whole girlfriend, other people in your relationship wasn't initially her idea, was it? Um, well, I mean, she told me to pass. Uh, no, 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 maybe, no, 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 no. You know, I need bye. you to, I need you to not lie. That's what I need you to do. What do you mean? Did I agree to it? You mean, like, you mean, ask me that? Yeah. Are you the one kicked it off? Mm-hmm. No, I agree to it because I told her that I don't... No, I told her he that, kicked um, it off. You we're married kicked, and... You kicked it off, but it didn't go how you thought. All, you mean... All hail the king. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I, I told her it was okay because, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to deny her because of her sexuality. So I come to the changes. I thought I wanted to go through the changes if she wants a girlfriend, and I understand it's part of her and stuff like that. But I Well, didn't, let me ask you a I, question. I let me ask you a question. Did you um, go get you a boyfriend? No. Oh, okay. But I know no. you thought about it. Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. A boyfriend or a girl? 
I'm confused about that part. No, I don't think so. But carry on. It's fine. Carry on. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, yeah. So I mean, we became we, 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 well. We don't we don't really talk anymore. Like I haven't seen my kids or her for months. And I, I emailed you before me too. I said, Are they alive? Or I'm worried. I can't sleep at night. It's been all these months. I can't sleep because I'm. I don't know what's going on. Did they're alive? I don't know what's going on. But, but, you, but you're really not anymore, that so. worried about what's happening. And that's, and this is no judgment. I mean, because we're talking about people's lives here. Really? So, um, no, you're not. Because, you mean I'm not worried about it? No, you're not. Because this is October. And if you were worried, guess where you would be? Instead of trying to figure out should you pay your last month's rent, guess where you would be at this moment? Guess what you would really be attempting to figure out? I mean, today I thought about um, calling, like texting her mother. And, today, and her hold really on, like that, but... hold on. Today you thought about it. I mean, it came to mind, but we don't get. I said we don't get along, but it's just. But that what about like your liking, children? So what about? Oh, oh, wait. You said they. So you talking about your children don't like you either? Parent, no, the parents mm -hmm. like a parent. Oh, I know you talking about. <laughs> No, I mean, Brother right. Bilal. Yeah, I like <laughs> yeah, I do. Before, before, before we go any farther here, on for real, on that on a for real note, we really need to explain that we didn't have this call set up. I know people are start saying, now this shit is made for TV, and they setting these calls up. Abdul, we didn't know you were going to call in. This ain't, could you tell the people you calling it on your own? No, because they're going to think this shit is a prank call. Man. Oh my God! No, I was trying to go online. I said to say this. I want to know about the Joker and I mean the Joker thing and what's. I want to make sure I do the right <laughs> you thing. You just didn't want to know about the Joker. <laughs> I mean, you oh, know, I want to make sure the right here, thing. Here, I here, here. Yeah, 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 what your about your children? There, what about your children? Even I, I don't even, know how to reach. I have listen, no idea. listen. I have no way but, to find them. But you, honestly, no, no, no. But that's not. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Well, I mean, honestly, you, I don't. I don't you, know hold that, on. Well, don't hold on. Know. Hold on. You just said you thought mm -hmm. about contacting her mother. You just said that. Yeah. You just yeah. said that. But so, they don't like so, me. Hold on. I'm not asking. That's how I'm talking to them. Hold on. And I, I can understand why someone could not like you. I can understand that. I can yeah. understand why somebody mm -hmm. would love you. And I can understand why someone don't like you. Here's what I'm saying yeah. to you. Let's take your wife and push her to the side uh -huh. for just a moment. And how many children? Oh, he did do... that before you. Yeah, he did. He pushed her aside. But how many children do you have? Four. And you're trying to tell me that you don't have any concern for their welfare. That's why I can't sleep at night, because I think about them all the time, and I'm waiting for them Listen, to Listen, you're, like hold on, like Abdullah. Home. You a grown-ass man. Mm -hmm. You got to do more than think. You couldn't think four children into this world. It would require some physical action from your body, your mind, and your spirit for that to happen. So now you're telling me that all you were doing was thinking about your children because you are so busy running from ice. Because that's who you think is coming after you. Uh, ice? Yeah. Immigration? You mean to tell me that this was your whole premise? To why you can't work and you don't know who ICE is? Oh, uh, I didn't say I, I couldn't work. I was just saying that. Um, oh, wait. My bad. Huh? Wait a minute. So you can you work. I, I mean, I work. Oh, you can work. I'll okay. Work now, okay. okay. You can work. You can work. Not you a job. Okay, you're doing husband. Like, <laughs> it's only because my father knows people, so I get to do some work on the side, whatever. I work with him. So you can work. You know, all this work. You it know, doesn't matter work. who can work, you yeah. can know, you can yeah. work. Yeah, I... up here, yes. Well, more. Uh, yeah. So who are you running from then? 
Who are you running from? Who I'm running from? Yeah. Well, I mean, to tell the truth, I mean, I might sound crazy. It's just like, I'm hoping that um, my wife contacts me. Oh, you and, want her to says, do you know, some more work. Like I said, when are you going to get you a boyfriend? Because you want your wife to come find you. I don't know. I don't know what she's I don't know what she's at, and I don't know people like that. I'm, I'm, I'm a loner. I don't know anybody. I'm not really a friendly. So I don't know. You know, I don't know people like that. So the only thing I knew was her. I was just with her and my kids. Was, so then, I mean, why no did parents, you leave but, you know, really the only like thing you knew? Why would you leave the only thing you knew? How could because you? Because I couldn't stay in Florida because she told me we have to. Leave. She told me we, we can't live together anymore. Like if I come back, I have to get my own place, my own apartment. And yeah. it was just a lot of different things that we discussed. When listen, we listen. Hold so on. So, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. So what do you want to happen? Because see, you're wanting something. Let's let's cut through all the BS. What do you want to happen? I want to go back to my my kids, and my wife. That's all I really want. I mean, it may I may not have the things that I need, get them like green cards and have my own job and stuff like that. You know, I know I have to work on those things because I'm starting from the bottom because, you know, I don't have any, um, well, you only had, like you so, only had since May. It's October. You could have been saved your little change and went back to your wife and your children. I don't know where they are. That's the thing I'm trying to say. I don't know where they are, where they're staying. Um, Abdullah. And then Abdullah. I, I, I can't. They Abdu- was in the Ab- I Abdullah, I Abdul- Abdullah, but you put no, you put more effort in trying to figure out whether you are a clown, a joker, or a fool than you have in trying to find your wife and children. That's real talk. Because she said she needs time to heal, so we need to stop talking for a long time. So she told me these things, so that's why I let it go. So listen, so since you since you listen to your... I kept saying, well, she needs more healing, third month. And I just kept waiting. I said, well, is she healed yet, or is she still mad at me about something? Like, is she saying that to me ever since then? So that's what I'm I don't want to respect her space. That's really why I just kind of like didn't want to bum rush, you know, because I know she wants to let go. Well, she said she needs space in me for whatever, you know, because I was being toxic to her, toxic or something like that. So I said, okay. Give, I'll give you some time, how long you need, you know, I, we don't have to talk anymore. So, and that was it. And but what about you like, talking to your children? What about your well, responsive? No, no, no. I didn't ask you what she wanted. What about what uh-huh. you want? Cause that matters too. What about what you want for your children? That matters. I have to wait just, damn. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I text her girlfriend's number and asked her if she's, you know, after had, uh, anything going on with, with, with my wife, you know, because I have heard from her like four months. I know she wasn't going to reply, but don't reply because she doesn't like me either. Oh, oh whatever, the girlfriend don't want you in the picture. Yeah, they're going to kick you out the picture. Exactly. So, it's like, I'm like, well, is she blocking yeah. or I'm just trying to figure out, like, I know she's been trying to block us. And I've been saying, you know, that's my wife. I need to work out with her. You, you know, you're just her girlfriend and, you know, such and such, you know, when I was there, you know. And so, like, now I'm like, I don't know if I'm complete. I, I, I'm just blocked completely. Like, I, I understand she blocked me out, but I don't know how to force my way back in or should I just give her time to just heal? Well, heal and I, don't think, I don't really think just that's the out. issue. I think the issue is you definitely should want to be there for your children, if for nothing mm-hmm. else. Yeah. So. Well, how can I, if she doesn't, doesn't reach me, I email her everything. I tell her everything. I thought I'm going crazy. I emailed her. She doesn't say nothing. I try to do telepathy and destroy my brain. Like, I, I try everything to see if I can just reach and see what's going on. Mm. Like, and the only thing I have is her parents to, to call, but I, I think they're against me because of what she said when we broke up. So I'm like, they're upset at me. So I'm like, I don't know if they even want me in her life, too. So that's why I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm like, so, so I'm, 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 I'm in full agreement with you. What, what do you want to happen? Like you said, let's talk about something else. Oh. What do you want I would to like happen? To, oh, you, you, you mean, oh, I, I would like to be a family again with my wife. Uh, I think I'm ready to handle the, the situation. Uh, no, you're not. Because, no, um, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not? Oh, no. my God. Maybe that's why I'm still far away from them. Then. I, I was trying to figure it out. I said, well, if I'm not there in their life, then I ain't supposed to be there. I still mm-hmm. have more to learn and grow. I just kind of like Abdu- let it go. You know? Abdullah, and I, and I Abdullah, kind of Abdullah, what we uh-huh. not going to do, what we not going to do, uh-huh. we not going to do crazy. 
I mean, if you are, I can give you some numbers and you can go talk to somebody. You just talk to us for 30 minutes about why you're not with them. I ask you, what do you want to do? And Uh then you say you want to be with them. This is insanity. It's insanity at its best. I do want to be with them. Okay. I I want to, but I don't know if I'm if if I'm prepared or maybe I'm not. Listen, listen, listen. We're we're done Mm -hmm. here. We're done here. And if you want to know if you're the joker, you Uh, the fool. Or what was the other one, Brother Bilal? Or the clown? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I don't even think you're any of them. None. I'm I'm just really confused. And I'm and like I'm trying to find some kind of help. It's like no one I'm alone in all this, so like I try I call the show. I say maybe they'll show this let me know the truth. And get out of the way so I can, because once I know the truth, I can say, okay, bam, I can focus well, on that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No communication. Hold on. <laughs> we gave you the truth, and I think you should focus on whether you're going to stay where you are mm-hmm. or if you're going to find somewhere else to move. And no, this is not a prank for whoever in the chat in Blue Room is asking, is this a prank? No, this isn't a prank. Um, Yeah. I think you should focus mm-hmm. on where what your next move is going to be, if you're going to stay or find another room to move to. And so with that, I wish you blessings. Mm-hmm. I wish you love. And I wish you well. Thank you. You're welcome. Hold the line. Brother Bilal? But, huh? Hello? No, no, no. No, no, no. Not you. Not you, Abdullah. You're not oh. Brother Bilal. Hold the line. Yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> Brother Bilal. <laughs> yes, yes. When is the men's workshop? When I read the Black Magic. <laughs> <laughs> this upcoming Saturday, but, but it, the, the seats are slim. I mean, we have to, think, we have to uh, me and Banks have to go through the numbers. I think we pretty sold out. I mean, whew. damn, I, I feel for the brother. Man, yeah, I, I really I do. Imagine what it took to get in that position. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a that's a sad situation. Yeah, very Real much sad so. Situation, very right? much so. Yeah. So and, and look, nobody wins. The children are affected more than yes, anything. Yes, than anything. Yeah. yeah. Than yeah. anything, yeah. I, I, and and that's that's brother. that's the part that I don't really feel for the brother. I don't even really feel for his wife. Yeah. I feel for the children, and so I hope that they can yeah. work this out. Yeah, but see, the brothers understand. I, I, I really feel for the brothers for real, because it. I mean, mm. yeah, trust me. Yeah, that's why we're doing this men workshop. <laughs> that's gonna be a topic in our, uh, in our, our workshop. Watch, watch sisters don't feel for the brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm glad you said that. Uh, that's what our topic. Yeah, it's like good. You're channeling all the topics. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. good. Um, I don't oh, yeah. feel sorry for him because that would do him no justice. I think that's why he's think is a language, but I know that's why he's in the position he's in. So I don't feel sorry right. for him. Um, I do know. No, that, no, no, no. I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel sorry for that. him. No, I don't. You mm-hmm. can't help somebody to feel sorry for him. Yeah, no, that, no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't feel sorry for him. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we're going to try to take one more call because I. I just, Spirit just won't let it stay at that. We we definitely need another caller. Um, so I'm just going to kind of jump around. I'm going to pick a caller only because this number two keeps coming up. Let's see what we get. 2022. Two. You are live on Planet Remix. Please tell us who you <laughs> are and oh my goodness, where you are calling from. <laughs> Hello, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Who is on the line? My name, oh, I'm sorry, I had to speak in. My name is Kay, and I'm calling from Brooklyn. Okay, greetings to you, Kay, from Brooklyn. My my birth city. Thank you. My born city. Oh. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Is this your first time calling in? Is it? Well, technically, no. The first time I called, I think I fell asleep when I was waiting. <laughs> but I listened to the show. It was really cool. And I've listened to some of the archives. And okay. Yeah, it was 
Okay, so your yeah, first time talking to yeah. us, right? You sound like you have sleep now, okay? I know. I'm like, I, I go to sleep kind of early, but I really want to stay up and talk to you guys. Okay, all right. Are you on a headphone? Pardon me? Are you on a headphone? Because it sounds a little muffled. I uh, know it's being my phone is being kind of weird. I'm not on headphones. Is this, is this better oh no, that sounds better right there. Yeah, whatever you do. That must have did. been the pillow you laying on. What's <laughs> 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 wrong with that? I mean, it's late. It's late. It's really that late. pillow talk. So all that pillow yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> um, I was just curious, actually, about um love and relationship and and what you guys pick up. Um. I would like serious partnership and marriage, and I'm 39. Well, you don't want me to do, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I see yeah. him? See, this is how you know. See, this is how you know it ain't nothing about love. You know what I'm saying? love, you mean anybody. Shit. Love is love. See, everybody oh kidding. Goodness. But go ahead. But go ahead. Give me your birthday. Was, so oh, my gosh. So you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> that was it was scary like it was very scary listening to that call I'm not gonna lie like cause he was clue he really had no clue I want you guys to know uh, that Kay woke all the way the hell up <laughs> yeah no when you said I blew listen Paul yeah, was yeah, was say, you, but see this is why you have to be more specific what you say you're just looking for love yeah, that, that, oh, that's yeah, how that shit happens. No. That's just how that oh happens. Let me get your birthday. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. It's um, get, March fifth, nineteen eighty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's pull this up there. Excuse me. Oh <laughs> what? hell no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh-huh. Oh my gosh! I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my let's goodness. See. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you waiting on love or you 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 what's going on here? Let me see. Let me see what the issue is here. I'm gonna let you know in a couple of seconds. Tell us talk to me, what what's going on? Uh, yeah, I am, you know, it's just um I haven't met the right person to connect with. Um mm. I've I really deeply cared about a friend of mine and um he didn't feel the same way but um it's he did a word probably chess me girl the same way. been there got the t-shirt huh oh he didn't feel the same <laughs> yeah a friend like a, mm-hmm. yeah like a, mm-hmm. a true mm-hmm. friend you know it kind of ruined it actually it's like the cliche mm-hmm. but, um mm. But it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Always, disguise. always. The work, the brothers' yeah, workshop is not... coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, All of them brothers got it together. <laughs> yeah. Got it together. <laughs> Damn right. Oh. Even them three seats I do getting. Oh, <laughs> I don't no. work on this shit. <laughs> so. Gotta get Abdul in there. So look. Gotta get in there. So, so, so I don't know what's okay, preventing okay. it, or you know, but. Uh, I know you have to look at yourself, you know, in your own life. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cliche. That's cliche. But you know what, though? Uh, I'm, well, I'm going to tell you something. Your your yeah. relationship connection is connected to the type of work you do. And the type of work you do is connected to your father's side of the family. Interesting. Yeah. Your father gave you that teaching and that nurturing, that more mathematics, accountant. Uh, that's all your father's side. Your mother more inventive side. But this is directly connected uh, to your father's side. It's connected to the type of work you came back to do. So this looks like a work relationship that works, but it is it is an issue with masculine energy and it may be uh you may have to dumb yourself down for a lot of these guys you've been meeting because you really uh, yeah, strong with your true. intellect is very strong wait so, a minute so wait a minute oh, yeah. wait a minute Go she gotta dumb herself Go down uh-huh. <laughs> i well i understand well, i'm not i'm not hold on k hold on k k not on her level k yeah. Yes. I don't need you to answer. 
I'm talking to Brother Bilal. Uh -huh. Yeah, what you uh -huh. say, Brother Bilal? <laughs> The brother she's meeting is not on her level. She's she's very she's a serious intellect. She really is intellectual. No, those brothers are her, intellects she, too. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking about? The brother the she's brother been meeting. No, the brother she's been meeting. They're intellects too, aren't they, Kay? Yeah. Yeah, but Kay got a mouth on her. That's Kay, right. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you know that's why we doing this workshop. Men and women are totally different. <laughs> brothers like you do the talking I, and listen, teaching. Listen, listen. And, and Kay got that teaching and, and you got to listen to me type shit going on too. So I'm I knew, looking at you. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you what I it is. I knew Brother Bilal was going to go there. Yeah. That's why listen I said this, it. Kay. Listen at this, Kay. You were born a Pisces, but your true zodiac is Leo. And you are every bit of a goddamn Leo for real. You you are I don't, you can't even tell me somebody told you you are traditional Pisces no goddamn way no <laughs> way ever you are damn Leo okay interesting you go study Leo yeah you go study Leo and that's a fire sign so that's that right. fire and water class you damn sure can't be with no emotional brother oh yeah you run over Abdul you run over Abdul <laughs> well, please I wouldn't even set that up. See what I'm saying? Like, like, see the real hustle. Case like, like, oh, like, yeah, like, you know, said, oh, please. Like, you know what I'm saying? The lion king. Go tear the brother up. <laughs> yeah. No, go study Leo, though. Oh, so look, okay. To be honest with you, it's really hard to meet that that perfect mate of relationship if you don't wake this side of yourself up. You need to go investigate and research all Leo. Study nothing but Leo, 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 Leo. Then go into we Leo women, none but Leo, and mm -hmm. see what the common link is. Once you wake that side of yourself up, you're going to attract what you, what fills the void and what, what, you know what I'm saying, would give you that, that good compliment in a relationship. Because you really need somebody you could express and talk to. You need somebody with a lot of air. You need an air mm -hmm. sign. You need somebody with some, you need a fucking Aquarius or something. You need somebody with some air. And so y'all could be up all night talking that shit you like to talk. <laughs> I do yeah. like it, but sometimes they they can be a little cold for me. Oh the, yeah, the, yeah, Aquarius is cool. With the yeah, <laughs> a little frosty. Yeah, but Aquarius is the other end of Leo too. Aquarius yeah, is the I'll other see. end of Leo. Well, go Gemini. Mm -hmm. Baby, try Gemini. You get two for one. Brother Palau. The twins. You know what? Hey, man. Hey, shit just came out, my man. Hey, shit. Look, I'm trying to get ready for the workshop. Oh, oh, my, my, oh my gosh. Help, help the sister out. Oh, my goodness. Um... <laughs> You know, Kay, what kind of work do you do? Um, I'm in film and TV. I do like editing and directing, that kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need a good director. <laughs> I really do. No, all jokes. I, I know I sound like I'm playing, but I am serious. Um, but, um, I, I'm taking you seriously. <laughs> okay. Well, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You're, you're in the right type of work too. Yeah. You're in the right work. Here's. Oh, well, you probably you're a married when the entertainers or something, baby. So you look at too low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm you got, you, you got to watch yeah. out for them. You know, it's a whole lot of Malik Yoba's running around. Anyway, that's an, I digress. I digress. Uh, I digress. <laughs> Anywho, um, bros don't get a break. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I wanna, I wanna say this to you. Um, okay. There's no, there's absolutely nothing wrong. I don't want you to think that we're trying to tell you there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong with you, and there's nothing wrong with what you're okay. doing. You're developing and you're learning about yourself. And really, honestly, I would say over the course of the last nine months, you've learned more about yourself mm -hmm. than you've known for almost 30 years. Would you agree? Sure. Yeah. So Absolutely. this is a, um, a very transformative time for you. And one of the things that mm -hmm. I want you to do is to tap more into your intuition because you have a lot of intuitiveness in you and you're very, very, very clairvoyant. You can see 
This is why mm-hmm. even the film, mm-hmm. the directing, these things are easy for you because you can really see a story from start to finish and sort of kind of visualize it out, not just from the director's point of view, but even from those who are watching. So sort of like the viewer's point of view, Mm -hmm. both perspectives and bringing them together. And when you infuse that with your feminine side and your intuition, and I love your energy. I love your voice. You sound very, very feminine, but your energy is so masculine. And that's because of your issues Mm -hmm. with your mother. Mm. And this is what's blocking that love. See, you hear us say these things a lot, and it's not that we're trying to say Mm -hmm. everyone has mommy and daddy issues. Some of that is a part of us just being born into our families, right? That's a given. The other Mm -hmm. part of it is, Mm -hmm. look at it this way. It's a lesson that we have to learn. And so when we block a part of ourselves, because you're half your mother's child and half your father's child. And whatever energy you're Mm -hmm. carrying from your mother, this is what Mm -hmm. energy is being blocked inside of you. And that is the intuitive side that's coming in. You got Mm -hmm. the daddy side down pat. Yeah. But your mama? Mm Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Yeah. And so what you don't want to happen is for this to turn into a generational curse. And so slowly but surely of everything that you can say, not that these things are not real, not that they, they didn't happen, but of everything that you could say your mother was or is not, you are becoming that. Not on the outside, but that's where you're operating from. So if you want to know the program that's running in the background, it's your mama. Mm -hmm. And this Mm -hmm. is the struggle. Let that shit go. Right. Because no one would look at you. You could not convince anyone, whether they be in this physical world or ancestor in the spirit world or anyone else, the divine God, the oneness, that your mother is terrible based on you. You are the walking representation of the very best of your mother and the very best of your father. And here's the deal. Your mother took those lessons so her children would not have to. She is the one that is with Kafu standing at the crossroads that is being blocked so that when you get there, you can pass through. And for that, Mm -hmm. you have to be grateful. How could you not have compassion for a parent who was willing to take a lesson so you didn't have to suffer it? You could witness it from a distance and gain the wisdom. But too many times we take this wisdom and we make it judgment of our parents and not recognizing that they are the ones sacrificing. They are the ones that will end up in the red records. It is their blood that they sacrifice so that us, their children, do not have to go through the same lessons that they came through. So these opportunities that you got, the things that was availed to you, the understanding you got from a woman's point of view, your mother gave it to you so you would not have to live it. But you're trying to hold her hostage with her gift she's given you. It's time to let it go. Can you um, expand on that a little bit? Like what the, about the gift? I mean, it's resonating, but I wasn't right. sure that I really get it. Yeah, I can expand on it. Everything of Thanks. your worst desire of what you want to be 
of what you seen in your mother that you thought was a weakness that you thought should have been done differently mm-hmm. is her showing you the lesson so you don't have to live it from the way she thinks from the way she acts mm-hmm. And from the way she doesn't (laughs) respond. Mm -hmm. It has made you into the wonderful, amazing woman that you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now... Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You were going to say something. And I, I really want to hear what you got to say. Uh, I was just going to ask for instruction on, or any advice on how to, yeah. to release that. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. You have to go back to the year 2012. You were 32 years old. Mm. And that's where you're stuck. You're stuck there. You're stuck there. It's where you're stuck at. That's when I left my job. Mm hmm. You stuck. You remember you real quick. You remember this? I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Lotus flower bomb, firefly. When I'm low, she take me high. I, I can teach you all the sounds of love. Flower bomb, let me get your favorite fragrance. And you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying that in nature. No disrespecting, baby. Just try and make me smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep. You remember that? Mm-hmm. What about this? Remember that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this one? I like a woman with a future and a past. A little attitude problem, all good, it'll make shit last. <laughs> don't make it too easy, girl, don't take it too fast. Yeah, that's it right there, that's it, do it just like that. Only you could do it just like that. And I love it when your hair's still wet, cause you just took a shower. Running on a treadmill and only eating salad. Sounds so smart, like you graduated college. Like you went to Yale, but you probably went to Howard knowing you. We get in Miami, trying to study by the pool. Mm-hmm. Couple things. All of those. <laughs> yep. 2012. Mm-hmm. 2012. Oh. All of those. Oh. All of those. Wow. Yeah. That's you got to go back and you got to go get yourself. <sighs> Listen to those songs. Make you a playlist. And go close out all those chapters. Close them out mm-hmm. so you can move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> peace and love to you, Kay. It was beautiful connecting with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Peace and love. Hold the line. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Powerful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Powerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Hey. 
What Life is, is mathematics. That's right. Kafu, Black Moon, Black Magic, <laughs> and the Red Records. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next time, we will go back to one title shows. <laughs> 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 yes, indeed. Oh, oh, uh, oh, wow. Well, listen, everyone, we have certainly enjoyed you guys tonight. Definitely would love to hear your thoughts about tonight's share. Uh, so we want to encourage you to definitely make sure that uh, you download, 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 and also leave a detailed comment about your takeaway from tonight's share. So whether that was someone who came on that maybe you resonated with, some of your takeaways from the show as well, we'd love to hear that also. Connect with us over there on um, social media. And don't forget to also like and subscribe if you're in the blue room over here on YouTube. The Brothers Workshop is coming up. You can contact Brother Bilal at BilalTheExperience at gmail.com. Don't know if there's any seats, um, but definitely it's worth a try. See you guys still asking for that information. So there it is. Well, we love you all. Absolutely every single one of you. Wishing you an amazing week. You know, it's a great time to get some relax relaxation and to rest and reflect and get yourself nice and charged up. Have an amazing week and we will be in touch. So peace and love everyone. And we will see you guys back here on Planet this. Remix. So uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here. We're going to listen to some music um, on the way out. Yeah. Let's, let's get a little flower bomb, a little Lotus flower bomb going on. That's, that's one of my favorites. I love yeah, it. I know each other for real. Love you guys. Ciao. No <laughs> this flower bomb. Hey. hey. Yes. She take me high. I can teach you all the sounds of love. Oh yeah. Flower bomb. Let me get your favorite fragrance. Hey. You got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying that in nature. No disrespecting, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up. Keep Little your spirits vibe, up, everybody. Took it forever to get dressed. I acknowledge your effort. So I clap for her. She deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard. She deserves that baton. Shawty wear your baton. Racing hey. through my mind like she heard that. I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Care to tell? I read your mind. She been on them dollars first. Caramel, hockey hey. out. With Shawty getting the work. I can be your boyfriend, be your nigga, or a friend with perks. I'm Ooh. just trying to work that. <laughs> they just trying to work your nerves. I'm just trying to read your mind. I'm just trying to feed you mine. I'm just trying to give you life. Like, oh yeah. Feel it when you dance with me. Yes. It's feeling like you need to be. Oh yeah. My lady, my baby. baby. Yeah. Hey. Can't you see? Oh yeah. Talking about it Can I blow up on your mind? Yes. This is not no Sandra Bull. Hey. But your potion number nine. Yes. Navigating through her eyes. Destination to her thighs. And I hate to tell you too oh. much. Cause I stay with too much pride. And we way too young to know love. Maybe not, but we don't need no rush. Don't believe in love at first sight. But believe in love at first <laughs> Can ah. I be with you just one night? I can wear you out inside. I can tell you like persistence. But I make you come and try. I just think we need one night. Can oh. decide if I can't right? Easy, baby, my thing tight. But that lotus flower just ain't right. I ain't thinking I ain't right. Can't hey. decide, but I can't fight. Easy, baby, you the bomb and all. But I'd be damned if I did not ran mine. Or at least try. Can I speak up? Or is it peace out? Can we eat lunch? Can we take shots with your face? Flat hey. drinks we call eight cups. I just think I need one night. Slightly more if it's done right. With that gorgeous face, I don't know your name. It ain't important, baby, because I'm a lost man. I'm a fantasy. I feel it when you dance with me. Oh, yeah. Just feeling like you need to be my lady. Hey. My baby. Oh. Can't you see? Oh, yes. I'm talking about it today. Find a remix. Tell me would you care? Let's get it, y'all. <laughs> oh. Hey. Wow. Oh. Wow.
<laughs> oh yes love you guys ciao ciao grammarly <laughs> insurance uh none of that ciao <laughs>